Okay, I want to see if y'all can hear me. Let's um All righty. Okay. So I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me. I'm going to tr test this new mic. Hey, hey, Marie, Marina, can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. You can? Does it sound good? Hey, Lynn, I'm using my new microphone. How does it sound? Does it sound okay? Loud and clear, but is it, it's not, nothing's crackly. Is it sound, like, does it sound extra specially good? <laughs> uh, does it sound extra specially good? <laughs> we hear sounds fine. Okay. I don't know how close. See, here, here it is right here. Here's our new little baby. <laughs> Here's the new little baby. <laughs> I don't know how close to be or, you know, anything like that. So I'll just kind of leave it over here to the side and see how it goes. No crackling. You could be in the same room. Yay. Thanks, guys. Okay. So now I got to adjust the, the lighting and all that stuff. Okay. All right. Let's move this back over this way a little. And let me readjust the um, the focus here. Whoops, sorry guys. I think the, my fan's blowing the little cord. Yay! I well, you guys bought it for me. All right, let me adjust the lighting a little here. Oh, I gotta have a hand here, or something. Let's turn it. See now, I'm using my other camera that has light lock. So now. We should be light locked in, people. We should be light locked in. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with it right now. So, yeah. Let's see about the autofocus. Let's focus just a little. And then turn the autofocus off. There we go. So... Oh, I forgot to check to make sure. Oh, y'all make sure that you're in HD. I didn't even make sure I was, I guess it's auto in HD. Let me check. Um, okay, controls, advanced settings. Uh-oh, did I do, uh-oh, hang on. I messed something up here. Let's focus again. Okay. I'm so glad it's working. Hey, Melody. Mike is working. You want to go down and listen to see what it sounds like to you? Okay. You want me to make some fresh? Um, yeah. Well, yeah. I'd rather have some juice. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Yeah, I'm doing some. I'm you know, now. I'm trying to get everything focused, and I hope I'm in HD. Um, I I don't I'm not sure how to check that on my. It doesn't look quite as clear as normal, but. You know, well, this is our test here. We're testing. Um, how's it look? Does it look clear to you guys? Oh, my mother texted me and said it sounds good. Thanks, Mom. But it doesn't, it, I don't know. Maybe it's just the fuzziness of the watercolor. <laughs> guess it's okay make sure you guys are in hd go to your little wheel down there and make sure you guys are in hd clearing in hd okay thanks melody and good morning hey julie topaz hey sammy so yeah here we go people here's our new baby thank you art art friend supporters <laughs> Let's see here. I think this is just fuzzy <laughs> because it's it's got all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna move that out of the way. <laughs> so we're gonna do swatching today. Well, we're not only gonna do swatching, we're going to do um where'd this go to? <laughs> we're going to do um watercolor 
de design C co color combination ideas. So I know. And I got my light lock on. I got my, there's the little tripod leg is showing right there, but I, I want to make sure I'm like, you can hear me. <laughs> I don't know how far to put the microphone, you know, um, or how close I should say. It told me when I set it up to turn the levels down. So I turned the levels down. So hopefully it's at a good level. <laughs> hopefully we're leveled. <laughs> so hey Sammy. Hey ya. <laughs> uh, you've been working on color color. Oh, good, Lynn. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so everybody's getting new watercolors. <laughs> Um, I, I didn't get, I didn't get any new watercolors, but a lot of girls got some because of Zandra, Scraps to Beauty Zandra. She has been, um, hang on guys, I look a little, I look a little pale, which is kind of, you know, it's funny to, to not have to, the light lock is locked, but I still want to, I don't want to be too light and flashed out, right? That looks pretty good there. Hang on. I'm playing. I'm a playing just a little bit here. Let's see. Adjust the gain. Adjust the brightness. Adjust the color. I think we're good, people. I think we're good. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad it sounds I'm glad it sounds good. Let's see. Hang on, guys. I can't stop playing because I went back to the other camera. Um, the older one with the light lock because I got the mic. And that was Ian's idea. I don't think he's here. But Ian's the one that said, instead of getting a, replacing your camera that's crackling, just get a new mic. Who would have thunk? Thank you, Ian. <laughs> Oh, uh, so <laughs> yeah, the per the perm tan. Yeah, I know, right? Well, it's it'll. I'm sure we'll have to see what happens when I put white paper out here, Sammy. <laughs> you know how that does. <laughs> and you know it'll be a it'll be a little test and play. But anyway, this is what the box looks like. We're I'm I'm pretty close up here. So this is what the box looks like that it came in. And it came with the little stand. It came with the little tripod and the cord. It's a USB. plugs right into your computer. You go into your sounds. You enable it. It pretty much does everything. You don't really have to do a lot. Um, yeah, the the uh, it does multiple zoom. The nine. Yeah, here. Let's see. See, we can really zoom in there, and that's only two. <laughs> so yeah, it does multiple zoom. No, my problem with using the 920 uh, Pacola was that everybody was saying it was crackling uh, ever since we came over to YouTube. So I was just going to get a new 920 because, you know, I have the, the C930E, which is a really the best Logitech you can get at our cost level. You know, I mean, you can get a $500 one, but, you know, my C930 does not have light lock. And that's always been the issue with the techies and, and people that have talked about the 930. So I went back to the 920. Um, but when I came over to YouTube, for some reason, the 920 was crackling. So I went back to the 930. <coughs> and then, you know, but it doesn't have the light lock. So now that I got the new mic, I'm back to the 920. Does that make sense? With our new blue eyes, baby, blue eyes. So thank you, girls, that um, <laughs> thank you guys that uh, did Super Chat and the last couple of weeks. You bought this. So you bought us a new mic. So, yeah, there's not really much to it. There's really not much to it, <laughs> really, <laughs> you know, setting it up. So I don't know uh, about, and I did turn the levels down because I'm just sitting here. Um, I'm just sitting at the... Uh, 
at the desk. I don't know how well it will pick up if I start walking around the room or anything. But I wouldn't think it would be much different than if my, you know, camera's uh, set. So, yeah. So, how's everybody doing? I'll say happy Friday to everybody. Hupster said he was going to get me some juice, and he said he's also going to hear, hear how I sound. He doesn't usually come on the show, but um, he's, he's going to go down there and see. <laughs> um, so, hey, Passion. Yeah, they're, they're on Amazon. It's on Amazon. So here's what it looks like. I don't want to be, you know. But, uh, yeah, I think you can get it in black, too. And then the cord's pretty long. I got that tucked up over there. So, hopefully, I don't know how close to put it. That's a thing. I don't know. Is that close enough? Can I move it back here? Or if I move it right back there, can you all still hear me if I move it, like, farther away? Is it still sound good if I move it farther back? Yeah. Just say that. It sounds good. Yeah, oh, it sounds awesome. Yeah, thank you for the juice, honey. You're, welcome. You're out of prune juice. So. I don't have to drink prune juice. He always, <laughs> I'm drinking cranberry juice, silly boy. Okay, all right. See you in a little bit. <laughs> it does. It sounds okay when it's farther back. All right. All right. So I pulled out some watercolors. Y'all know I have all the Jane Davenport sets. <clears throat> what we're going to do is I'm going to go to, it's better farther away for you. Okay, good, Lynn. All right. Well, do you want me to move it farther? <laughs> I can move it. I can move it even farther away. Is that, is that even better? <laughs> do you want me to go across the room, Lynn? I know I talk loud. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, well, that's a test. That's why I put in the, because I, I wasn't sure, you know, when, when we started up, I didn't, wasn't even sure it was going to, uh, a default to it, but it did. And uh, so, yeah. Yay. So thank you, girls. Thank you, fibs, friends in the box. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> I know he's so funny. He's, I mean, he's a character. I'm telling you, you got to have a sense of humor to live with that man. Okay, so what I did is, I might make me, wrote me some notes there, what I want to do. So we're going to go to design seats. Now let me turn down the uh, lighting here because that apparently is what makes, that's what apparently makes the, oh no, wait a minute, maybe not on the iPad. Let's see what I can do here because I want to be able to, yeah, I'm going to have to try to turn down the light. Let's see. I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera or not. Yeah, see, it's not going to show up. So if y'all want to follow along, <laughs> um, we're going to go to design seats. I guess I could probably do it on my phone because I can turn the phone down. Let's try. Let's, let's try on the phone. Although I have it plugged in because it's charging. Um, let's try it on the phone because I know if I turn the light down on the phone, it will show up. All right, let me bring that up. So if y'all want to follow along or see what I'm talking about, go to design-seeds.com. Design-seeds.com. So we've been using design seeds for a long time around here. And uh, it's a great way to find color combinations. So if you don't know, um, if you don't know, hang on, guys. It's a little, I'm determined to get this good. I am determined. Um, if you don't know uh, how to get some uh, combinations, color combinations, then go to design dash C's. There we go. That's better. Design-seeds.com. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, I need to turn the lighting down even more. Turn the lighting way down. Okay. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to see color here. All right, so I might need to turn it sideways to have more options. Hang on, guys. Now I can't see it because I turned the light down. Okay, so your daily dose of inspiration. There's blog, shop seasonal let's see i just want to go to 
all colors. It looks a little different than the iPad. Bring your own. Uh, no, 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 same design, see color. Uh, well, there's the blog, the shop. It's it's different on my phone. Hmm. Well, I'm going back to the iPad then. <laughs> I had the color thing figured out over there. All right, I always use it on the iPad. Hey, Jill. Hey, SD Rock Rockman. It's just yeah. This one because you know, it seems to be lost on <laughs> Well, you're welcome here, Rockman. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome here. Hey, Victoria. Okay, well, this isn't going to be anything complicated. Okay, so let me go back one to go to the start. All right, so here I have, let's see. Is it going to matter? Uh, uh, all you're going to do is see reflection, so that's not going to work. Okay, so you go to search by color. All right, I, I'm, it's not going to show. I'm just going to have to do the demo. <laughs> it's not going to, um, it's not going to, uh, pick up the iPad. All right. So if you're in design seeds, go to search by color and I'm, there's a, there's a big square color there. So you can see the square color and I'm just going to click on red. Okay. And what that does is it brings up different color. Oh, I can't stand that. You don't, can't see it. Um, I don't know what I can do. The lighting. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh. Okay. So here is fresh hues. This is under red. So what Design Seeds does is it gives you a color combination of six colors and a photograph. So they drew these colors out of the photograph. Okay. I'm sure they have some kind of a program where they can take a picture of something and it breaks down all the, um, I forget what, um, which, which are, is it R, R, D, anyway, which color, uh, pro, I don't want to say program, not palette, not app, which color, mm, oh, anyway, system, what color system that they use, but you can, there's ways you can take a picture and it'll pull out all the colors and that's, I'm sure that's what they do, but anyway, what it does is gives you color combinations so this was this the first one that popped up under red, okay? And so you can see, come back here, come back to mama. Here that here are the um, numbers right here. See, it breaks it down by number. So if you want to use those numbers, so it just gives you all kind of information about the color combination. But what is fun about this uh, design-seeds.com? And you can, uh, they're on, they're on uh, IG, they're on, they have their own website, and you know, and there's all kinds of color combinations. What is so nice is if you're not sure what kind of color combinations or you need ideas, let's say you're doing a color book page and you want a color combination for your faces, your flowers, your whatever you're doing, can you see how this would be helpful? All right, so now let's go back. Let's see, let's go back. Let's pick another color. All right, so here's our color chart. Let's just pick it like a teal blue. Okay. All right, so here we got this. I'm trying not to have my reflection bother the... So here you have a picture of some flowers and this color combination. There's a little bit of purple down here. See? It's a little bit of purple, blues, some gray greens. And so here's the colors. Hey, Annie. Hey, Kenny. Penny girl. I know I'm missing some people. Hey, Heather. So um, I came on a little early and I forgot to tweet, but maybe I should because this is kind of an impromptu Friday. Um, I wanted to test the new microphone. And um, yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> I wanted to test my new microphone that you guys bought me. 
And uh, so all you that uh, gave super chat money the last couple weeks. Thank you. Thank you, Jeannie. Thank you, guys. Okay, well, here's what we're using. We're using the new, we're using our new blue snowball there. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And I am moving it farther back because everybody said it needed to be farther back because I talk so loud. Okay, well, so for some reason, now we can get it on the iPad. <laughs> So, um, so do you all see how this works? Yeah, the space monster, Eileen, and no crackles. Yeah, there shouldn't be any crackles because the the mic is not my camera mic now. It's the it's the it's the blue. And let me show you all the box again. The blue ice here. This is the box, so and it comes with the it comes with the little tripod. Okay, so so anyway, what what I thought I would do is show you a couple different ideas with the um, we can zoom in one here. It'll help a little, I think. There we go. Hey, Scoobs. Oh, happy anniversary, Cher. These colors remind me of the Prima Pastel collection. Well, um, I don't have the Prima um, watercolor sets, if that's what you're talking about, but the Jane Davenport's, I think they kind of have some of the same colors. But we're going to mix. I got. I also have my... Um, <clears throat> I want this to still show. I also have my um, Kurotakis here. Or Gay I Tambi, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe it's made by Kurataki. That right, was like a pet. You should name it. I should name it. Good idea, Penny Girl. I named my uh, cameo silhouette. My cameo silhouette cutting machine is called Her Majesty Camille. <laughs> I should name. Maybe I should just call it blue. Because <laughs> that's what's on there. And every time I look at it, I see blue. <laughs> but that's a generic name. <laughs> That's probably his last name, Blue, or her last name. <laughs> Prisma Color has those code numbers. Oh, okay. Uh, you mean the pencil? Are you talking about the pencils, Lynn? Yeah, well, those aren't, these wouldn't be the Prisma Color numbers. These are the, and I forget what it's called in paint chip world and in computer, computer. There's two different kinds of. Well, there's probably more. RG, it, it's not RGB, but I don't remember. It's been a while since I've had to deal with colors, like in printing. You know, when you print, print things out, like uh, paint chips. You know, they have they go by the certain color. Okay, the pencil chart. Okay, is on print. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I was thinking of uh, not Prisma pencils, but the uh, the paints. You know. Uh, and the paper people, paint and paper people. But anyway, um, I don't know what these numbers uh, go by. I'm not sure I could look it up, but picture and sound is funny. Okay, well, I'm not sure. You're pixelated, guys. Okay, I'm going to wait and see what everybody says. Did I zoom in and mess things up? Or is it because of the uh, iPad being here? It could be because of the iPad. Y'all let me know because we're testing this morning. Oh, just for a second. It could be because of my lighting. It's probably the lighting from the iPad, guys. It's probably, you know, messing with it. So let me just put it up here for a minute. So anyway, the color combinations, the color combinations are based off of the printing process that computers, and I know one of y'all probably know uh, what it's called. <laughs> All right, well, never mind about that for now. All right, so I got some paper here. And what I want to do, I guess I could, there's a mat in here. Yikes. Um, if I'm going to get my big paper cutter here, and I'm just going to come over here to the side, and I'm going to make some strips. Or maybe I should just cut it in half. Maybe I should just fold it in half. Maybe I shouldn't cut it at all. Maybe we'll just go with the full sheet. <laughs> uh, because what I want to be able to do, if y'all have been around for any length of time, I'll be wetting my watercolors as we go here. 
if you've been around for any length of time, you know we've done different projects. We've done different projects with paint color combinations and different how to get ideas from them and stuff like that. And I've also, let me let me state this real quick too, that if you have no watercolors, the only reason I'm using watercolors right now, guys, is because all the girls, <coughs> Eileen, Janet, <laughs> Zandra, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of the girls that have bought new watercolors. <laughs> I'm not buying any new watercolors, but they got all these new watercolors. They got some newfangled watercolors. Newfangled. <laughs> and so I thought I would use watercolors. That being said, I have done different kinds of color combinations with design seeds before with the Neo colors. Neo colors, because I have a lot of colors in Neo colors. Neo color, you know, our water soluble. Neo color two. Let me let me stress that. Neo color two, water soluble crayons. Um, so it's it's like watercolor in a stick. If y'all have never used, uh, no, I don't need the shimmers, Eileen. <laughs> I have glittery. And you know what? I still have. All right. Let me find it. Hang on. Uh, where is it? I think I put them in here. Eileen. I still have all the twink. Now, this is a different box. This is a box that, that this watercolor set came in. This watercolor set here came in this box. I have these twinkling H2Os, Eileen. For how many years? How many years have I had these twinkling H2Os? They're shimmering watercolors, Eileen. Don't make me buy new ones. <laughs> Look, they're doubled up in here. I probably have, I don't know, 10, 20, 30, 40 or 50 of them in here. I don't need any new shimmery. 20 years ago. Yeah, these might be. No, they're not quite 20 years old. But they're old. <laughs> hey, Mama, for, you got these two? All right. So what I'm saying is I don't need any shimmering. I don't need any stinking shimmering watercolors, Eileen. <laughs> and I have my magicals. Anyway, so we're going to try to do color combinations. It just so happens I'm going to use watercolor today. Got my watercolor brushes. I got a, I, I think this is my, the Micron's a waterproof just in case. <laughs> But um, and I have a stack of paper over here. So what I want to do is, is use the design dash seeds. I know. And if you're watching the recording, say, oh, my gosh, she chatted for 30 minutes before she ever got started. It's a chat show. <laughs> Don't email me. <laughs> you have the, yeah, the H2Os are nice, though. Yes, they are, Eileen. Okay. So even if you, if you use watercolors, if you use... Um, if you use twi um, twinkling H2Os, Eileen, if you use, uh, <laughs> I might have to, well, I don't know. I think that's plenty of room right down here at the bottom to, uh, to show the color combinations. Neo color two, if you use, um, you could use a box of Crayola crayons. <laughs> you can, because, you know, get a box of 96 or a, I think they come in a hundred and something now. You know, I have my box that's just made for sniffing, but you could, you could certainly do the same thing with a box of crayons. So you don't have to have anything expensive to do color combination idea. If we want to tag this as another society of idea collectors, I need to tag yesterday, um, Wednesday's video. A society idea collector tag. I need to tag that one. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, but uh, we, you know, you could consider this a a collection. Maybe I need to zoom out. I think that's what's making me pixelate a little bit. There we go. Let's see if this. Helps. We'll see. Okay. So this is my box. It's just for sniffing. Take a sniff. The sniff test, yes. So all these colors, you definitely can do. 
your color combination. Hang on, guys. Let me move my computer over just a little. Hang on. I'm, put some in here. I'm crackling again. Okay. Well, it uh, can't be my... I don't know. Everything seems to be okay. All right. Let's just give it a second. No, I'm, I'm going to use these right here, Melody. Stops crackling. It's a test. Let's just give it a minute. Okay, let's give it a minute. Get some paper here. Crackling a little. Pixelate. Okay, well, is it, it, it's not doing it now for me. Yeah, so I don't know, guys. We'll just have to work with it today. I don't know if there's anything I can do for settings. I zoom back out. I think when I zoomed in so much, it was doing something. I don't know what, but <laughs> okay. All right. So let's just, uh, let's go, let's flow with it now. All right. So I'm going to use that purple co combination and I've just got my little porcelain tray here that, you know, you can mix all kinds of colors. It's better. Okay. Thanks guys. And I'm just going to do some color combinations, but here's the thing guys. Once you, and you don't have to match it exactly. Okay. So for instance, Let's see. You're not going to be able to see me mix. Okay, so let's just make a gray here. There's some blue. There's some purple. So I'm just going to make a gray, and it doesn't have to match exactly. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick. Um, it has a little bit of lavender in it. Let's add a little bit of purple, more purple here, in one of the colors. I'm gonna just try to match these colors. There's kind of a lavender color. Okay, lavender. And it's probably not going to show up because they are, you know, they're watercolors. Okay. They're watercolors. And this is not watercolor paper. This is just like copy paper. Right. But it's, that's all you need to do the ideas. All right. And then it has like, I think this is a dark blue or black. It has like a navy. A little bit more. Kind of a dark, a, a Payne's gray navy kind of. And then it has more, and I have a Kleenex here to clean off my um, clean off my water brush. Okay, and then it has like a true blue, and I'm just I'm just picking whatever here. I'm not being particular. Okay, I'm gonna a little water to that one, water that down. A little needs a little bit more blue, less. That's a little um, thalo, Sammy. It's, that's a little too much thalo blue. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. It needs to be a little bit more, a little bit of purple in there. So, and this also helps you practice your color mixing. Okay, so that's a little bit lighter blue. And then let's see, then it almost goes into a Let's see. It's a kind of a gray. It's a little bit. Let's get a little cerulean in there and lighten that up. Okay. Let's see. Is that light enough? I might need to go a little lighter. A little bit lighter. Nope. That needs to be a little bit, a little bit more gray. Let's put a little bit of purple in that. Yeah. It's kind of close. Hey, Galena. Can y'all hear me okay? Are we doing all right? These are the Jane Davenports, yes. These three sets right here. And then this is my Ganzai Tambi. And right now I'm just using whatever's in my porcelain tray. <laughs> okay. And then uh, even a lighter blue. So maybe just a really watered down cerulean. No, oh, that's too much. There we go. A little bit lighter. And again, you can watercolors. You can test it with uh, Crayola crayons, your neo colors. Yeah, I don't know, Lynn. I'm not sure. I have a good connection. So, yeah. Okay, well, it, it might jump in and out, guys. We'll just have to see what happens today, okay? Um, we'll, we'll just have play today. And if it gets crackles every now and then, then that means it's not my microphone on the camera. I don't know. Um, we'll just, cause I'm using my new microphone. So it's not, the crackle is going to be a different issue. 
It could be an internet connection. It could be, you know, although I have a great internet connection, I have high speed cable. So it shouldn't be an issue. Uh oh, let me get my cord here. Trying to move around too much. Hang on, guys. I'm I'm moving stuff. That's not that's me. <laughs> Accidentally moving stuff around. <clears throat> All right. We do need to move over a little this way. There we go. Okay, we'll just keep, we're going to keep rolling. And then there's a gray. So let me just get a little bit of the, this, uh, I think it's called black ink or something. It's, it's like black. It's black. And, and water it down till it's very, very pale. So kind of a gray there. Because I'm not using any white right now. So anyway, these color combinations. <clears throat> yeah, it's, sometimes it sorts itself out. I know it's hard to, to tell, right? All right, so let's maybe move this just a little so we can get as much of this in here as we can. Shuffle all this over. There we go. It's a microphone test day. <laughs> um. Okay, so here's what you, we, you can do. I should have pulled out, I'm not sure which journal it's in. Some of the color combination things we've done before. But what you can do with your color combinations is, th you know, like obviously these, there are blue bonnets. Okay, so blue bonnets. And, and I'm writing small because I'm going to kind of show you how I would do it. Although I'd probably do it this way <coughs> if it was going in my one of my idea notebooks in my binders, but you know. So blue bonnets, irises are these colors. Uh, and so you can just make a little bullet list of everything that comes to you with these colors. Uh, gray, uh, gray, cloudy, skies. Okay, so you can start making a list of everything that occurs to you. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like mind mapping, and you could mind map this out. We've done mind mapping with the colors before too, where you you know just do. Well, I'll go ahead and do a circle here. We'll go ahead and do a sample. I hope y'all can see. I'm not really zoomed in. <coughs> hey, Jean. I got my new microphone, and we're using it, Jean. But apparently, every now and then. I think my, for some reason, we got, we're having a little issue. It's, I think it's my connection, although I have full bars. I don't know. Um, every now and then it crackles. So just everybody be patient. If it crackles a little, it's, uh, Lynn, it's just copy paper. It's just copy paper. It, these, these are my ideas and they'll go into my three ring binders. Well, probably not this one because I'm going to be writing all over for you guys. But uh, to make your um, color combinations and uh, write, you know, start, eh, I can't do that. Mind mapping it out. So, but I did go back to the 9, 920 with a new mic, Jean. Yes, I'm at back with the 920 and we're using we're using blue. <laughs> and it's a test today, guys. So yeah, let's let's have some patience. Don't anybody email me. Don't leave me comments saying it was crappy. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mike, 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 that's good, Sammy. I like that because, you know, on Wednesdays we have Phil saying, Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> Maybe he's talking to Blue. <laughs> um, um, uh, Tamora, she's asking me how I like the Ganzai Tambi. They are more, um, they are uh, more pigmented. But I don't use them any. I'm, I'm gonna. We're gonna play with all of them. Um, I don't. I'm not a watercolorist. I use. I, you know, I've done watercolor paintings. I've shown y'all a couple of my paintings. But I'm not really a watercolorist. 
but uh, I do like to use them in color books, backgrounds, base coating, you know, to pencil on top of. So I use them for different things because they're just pretty, aren't they? <laughs> Your brain. <laughs> okay, so you can mind map out your ideas. So, you know, let's just say you, you went with blue bonnets. Blue bonnet flowers. If you, if you don't know that that's the state flower of Texas. So that may the state that may make you think of other things because you know that's where I grew up in Texas. So that will make me think of things different than it would make you think of. But the idea is to get as many ideas down that occur to you. What occurs to you when you see these colors? Mind map it out. Bullet journal it. You know, bullet list out everything that that you think of, and then. Remember, guys, when we've done it, and I'll try to pull that note, one of those notebooks out <coughs> to make different combinations. Let me turn my iPad off here while we're not changing colors. Um, then combine different things. You know, you can combine what, what happens when you think of the blue bonnets and these colors here. Like uh, it might be a rainy summer cloudy maybe it's windy so i'm already thinking up a mystery in my head <laughs> we got a mystery going on and and then you can use you can use your ideas to you know sketch them out uh if, depending on what you like to do do you like to do watercolor paints do you like to do illustration do you like to do cards do you like to just doodle Whatever you like to do, you can sit here now if you want and, and you know, doodle out some, you know, um, blue bonnets, you know. And, and the idea is ideas, okay? So you can get lots of ideas with your color combinations. Bill, 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 <laughs> Bill Nye the science guy. Okay, Corey. <laughs> I saw it before the mod got you deleted it. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful with those multiple. Um, you're gonna flood your flood the flood your uh, text. That can that can automatically ban you <laughs> or kick you, so uh, or put you in timeout. <laughs> but hello, Corey, the one with the sense of humor. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> thanks, Lynn. Uh, so anyway, can are y'all ask me some questions? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? What do y'all do to get your color combinations? I'm using Design Dash Seeds. Let me write that down. Oh, y'all write it down with the boulder uh, so you can see it. Okay. Yeah, and, and guys, we're just using, I'm just using copy paper for the ideas because I'm not doing anything special here. I'm doing just I, color combination ideas. Galena says she randomly picks colors. If they look good together, they go on the paper. <laughs> but a lot of people think, well, I just don't know what goes together. All right, let's, let's use a color book as an example. OK, if you're going to do a, a color book page and uh, let's just say other than the face colors themselves, if you're doing a big face picture, um, let me get a color book here. Let's see. OK, here's a good example. All right, these are these are more probably hibiscus type uh, different kinds. And this is out of this uh, the Korean book here. Uh, all these flowers here, you open this page, and you go. I have no clue where to start. You know, you might think, oh, well, I want her to have, you know, dark hair and, you know, and, and skin, you know, colors, whatever. But look at all those flowers. What do I do with all those flowers? Design seeds and out of my head. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so 
but I, I get a lot of people asking, you know, well, how do you come up with your color combinations? You know, sometimes if I just lack some inspiration, I will go to, you know, I it, color inspiration. I'll just go and look at flip through design seeds, even if I don't necessarily go with every color. Like just because they give you six colors, you don't have to use all six colors. Like, let's just say, oh, I don't want that purple. I just want all those blue and grays. So you could do all your flowers, blues and grays. Or maybe some of them blue and gray and some of them the purple. Because you know these colors look good together, right? It's already, you've already seen in design seeds or by putting them down yourself. You will see what the color combination looks like. And you'll know if it's going to work or not. With watercolors, you, Jean's saying it's a good idea because with watercolor, what you see in your pans is not what you're going to get from your paper. Yeah. So it is important to swatch, too, if you, yeah. And and I'm not even necessarily talking about using watercolors, okay? You could do the same thing. Okay, I know I just pixelated for a second. I saw my hand kind of, I saw my hand kind of move a little. So I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know. But I did see, I did see at that time. Hang on, guys. Let's see if I can do some. I'm going to knock my juice over. Okay. Your Eileen says she's a firm believer of the something three challenge. The blend three child blend three. I'm not sure what the three blend you mean. Blend oh, blind oh, blind three challenge. <laughs> I lean. I'll move over. I'm gonna move the camera over a little bit this way. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna adjust something here. Okay, we'll just we're working with it. We're working it, people. Okay. So I, I, I just got out the watercolors today because everybody's using it. And what Jean was saying earlier is your watercolors will look different. They will look different uh, based on um, your paper. And that's true. Your paper is going to make a difference, but I'm really it's this is not a this is not a demo on watercolors. It's not a demo on how to use watercolors, what kind of papers and brushes and water and paints to use. This is a color demo, people. That's a color demo. So, <laughs> and then you can use your color combinations. All right, I was going to get that notebook out. Sorry, I got a little distracted with the. With the pixelating, hang on. All right, let me come over here. Hang on, let me see. Where's my little one here? Okay, here's one. I've got a couple different things here. Hang on, guys, I'm digging for some color combination things. All right, I got a bunch of notebooks here. I'm not sure what ones I picked. So, all right, so I got my color com one of my color combination notebooks here. We'll show you that one. I'm gonna show you just talking about colors today. This is random. Here's some of my samples that we've done in this little notebook. What do I have here? Oh, this is not even. This is another. I'm not sure what these are. I think this is. I, a deconstructed color journal here. And then I think this is my big color idea notebook here. Big three ring binder here. <laughs> we have a, we've done a lot of stuff here, people. All right. So let's see which one do I want to start with. All right. Let's say you want to start collecting some color ideas. And I know some of this is going to be repeated for some of you that have been around for a while. But 
look how pretty this looks. <laughs> hey, Cat. Hey, Limo. Hey, Zeely. Hey, everybody. So it seems to every just every now and then it does a little pixelating. Um, and when it pixelates, it crackles. So I don't think that the crackle has anything to do with the mic. I think it has to do with maybe there's a internet connection issue or something. I'm going to move my mic a little farther back. So if our iPad is mic. Oh, the iPad, it can cause interference? Okay. Well, I didn't think about that. Let me move my phone and iPad away from the from the situation because I have my iPad literally right next to the mic, literally, like they could almost touch. I did not even think about that, Lynn. That's a good tip. Oh, my gosh, Lynn. Thank you. Because they sit right next to each other when I'm using them. That's awesome. Um, I don't know, um, Gene. You know, it could. You never know, right? I mean, I might have to go back to the 930. We'll see. <laughs> the 930 camera. It, it, you know. So um, we'll test the 920 today. And then Monday, I'll go back to the 930. And we'll see what happens. Okay. The only thing is I love the 920 more is the light lock. Ugh. But we'll, work. we'll figure it out. Okay, so a couple different notebooks here. This one was one that we've done, and, and I, we used design seeds with this. I don't even know what all's in here because we've used this notebook for some years. But here's an example of using the design seeds. And I think I did these with Neo Color. Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons. Hey, Hannah. <coughs> hey Susan, Karen, anybody else popping in? I might have missed. I went back. Um, what was it from Monday? I, I watched one of the shows. Oh, I wasn't watching my show. I was watching. I I scre um, scrolled back through the the chat because I miss a lot of the chat. So every now and then I'll try to go back and scroll through my show of the that week and just see if I've missed anybody. And I I miss saying hi to people. Um, I miss questions, um, you know, so, and I didn't even tweet this morning, so <laughs> I totally just forgot. Um, so I do miss questions and hellos and things. So just let y'all know, Hey, Nancy, I'm not Shay. I'm not trying to be, I'm not being rude. I just, sometimes everything goes by pretty quick. I, I mean, I can look away and talk about something for one minute and it's a completely different chat when I look back up. Right. So hi, Diana. Okay. So here's some of the things what we've done with color combinations from the design seeds. And then just did a little, some little quick little illustration just to use those colors, but you can mind map these out. Like, for instance, we wrote here that this looks like butter. Okay, and I think I wrote them on the back. Yeah, here we did. We mind mapped the colors, the, the colors on the back. So from butter, we went to corn, bread, butterflies, uh, a margarita, I think somebody said, butter cookies, butter scotch. And then from butter, we went to churn. Churning, went to farms, country, milk, cows. So, you know, just, just, the farm aspect that we kind of ended up with because of the butter and the cows and the churning and the corn, you know, just, and that's just off of one color. Well, if you take those colors now, what if you did, what if you did blue corn with a, a butter colored cow, you know, and use all these colors and make up just, it's, I'm telling you, this will inspire your creativity even if it's not for a specific project, okay? Although you can use these colors for a specific project, say like a color book page. You know, all these colors work well together. So if you use these on that same picture I showed a minute ago, hang on, let me get it, or one like it. Let me just flip open a color book here, okay? <clears throat> 
So if you used these colors on this page, I mean, just look out for a second and think about it. And, and then it's also good, like, you know, if you're using watercolors, if you're using neo colors, if you're using pencils, markers, pastels, whatever medium you're using, that's not the point. The point is the color itself. You can use Crayola crayons to make your color combination charts. Okay. And uh, so, you know, you can look at this page and just really not know what to start. Well, here I can look at this and think, well, her skirt can be brown or that sienna color. Her shirt could be the butter color. The flowers could be the, the shades of blue with some touches of the, yellow, the uh, brighter orangey yellow. You see the basket. If I do her skirt in the sienna, and her top in the butter, maybe the basket is kind of a combination of the two. So it limits your palette. I mean, you can always throw in some, you know, other green leaves or whatever. But the thing about doing it like this is you have a color combination that you know works. So, you know, if you throw in some purple, that may, you know, may not work. You know, I mean, but it's your page. You can do what you want. But what I'm saying is, is here's an idea for a color book page based off of six colors. Okay. All right. So, and then if you mind map things out, you'll get more ideas. So whatever you like to use, whether it's watercolor, color pencil, pastels, markers, um, you know, Copics, acrylic paint, whatever medium you use, that's beside the point in the, in the color combinations. So make yourself a little notebook. This one doesn't have, I think I've kind of, I've taken things out of here, moved them into, and I got another notebook here to show you. So again, it's about color combinations today and testing the mic. <laughs> You know, y'all bought me a new mic, so we want to test it. So, and I did move the iPad and the phone away, Lynn. So maybe that does have an effect. I did not even consider that at all. Never even occurred to me that the iPad or the phone could jack with your, you know, camera and the mic and, the, you know, never even occurred to me. Thanks, Fran. Yeah. So you guys that have contributed to the show the last few weeks. Well, last couple weeks, bought me this. So, yeah, it's the it's the ice blue mic. And apparently the farther away I keep it, the better the sound is. Because <laughs> I have a loud voice. Okay. So if you are doing the Society of Idea Collectors, you could you don't have to have a separate notebook. Okay. I have a lot of the same information, and I'll maybe I'll pull out that my big three ring binder. In my big, uh, one of my big Society of Idea Collector three ring binders, I have a lot of these ideas and color combinations, blah, 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 in my big binder. So it just depends on where you keep your ideas. You could put, you can keep your color ideas, have your own a composition book just for your color ideas, you know? Not the camera so much, the microphone has magnets. So the, oh, okay. That's probably not good for the uh, iPad or the phone either, right, right, Jean? <laughs> it's probably not good to have those magnets next to your phone. I don't know if that's an issue anymore with new the newer technology, but you used to not want to have your stuff next to magnets, right? <laughs> hey, Louise. An electronic device next to a mic causes feedback. Oh, okay, Lisa, thank you. See you guys. All on it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Eileen. Eileen just put in the link to design-seeds.com. So here's a, here's different com color combinations. I don't know. And, and we pulled these in and out and done so many different things with them. <laughs> I don't even remember. What, what, I don't even know why we even pulled this out, right? So it needs to go back in its little uh, thing here. So... Let's talk about more color combinations. Not strong enough to be an issue, plus your phone and iPad have them already. So it's just affecting because of the mic, the, the magnets in the microphone. Okay. 
Thank you, Sharon. Thanks, guys. Well, we'll talk about it. Here's the thing, guys. If we're discussing, like, you know, somebody else probably didn't know that either. The magnet and the ma and it could the phone, it could be the phone in your iPad messing up your mic, maybe. So somebody that may help somebody else, right? Okay, thanks, Jean. All right, so here's where this I love this color combination. I love gray and yellow, black, white, yellow, and gray. Uh, and look, I use some washi tape. Just if you if you have things that are these colors, and I think in one of these books we did supplies. We did different, your different art supplies and craft supplies that are those colors. And also I've seen, and I've done a couple, a few, some years ago, but I don't, I think they're really cool, but I haven't tried to photograph them again. But if you really want a little bit of a challenge of, am I using my supplies enough or in enough varied ways, take a color like say pink or blue or whatever color <coughs> And find every art supply you have in those colors. Every string, every washi tape, you know. And uh, and at least make a note of it. See, I did pixelate just a little. It could be my camera too, guys. It could be my 920. I'm going to try go back to the 930 on Wednesday and see what happens. But you see how it, nothing, the, the thing about the 920 is the light doesn't change. There's no light fluctuation with the 920 like there is with the 930. So, um, Claire McClure did charts with color combinations for Polly and Prismas. Okay, Nancy. <clears throat> yeah, I know there's a lot of girls that do color booking that have done charts and uh, colors with, for coloring. I'm just going, I'm just giving y'all the example of design seeds.com today. But Google it, guys. You'll find paint chips. Uh, that's another good way to find color combinations. Go and just pick up paint chips. Um, paint chips are great. Uh, where's my thing? I'm hanging somewhere. Where is it? Here. <clears throat> so here I have lanyards. I have lanyards full of uh, color. These these are the uh, basil paint chips. I mean, basil, not paint. Basil paper color chips. If y'all remember basil cardstock, <clears throat> these are every color they made. And so here's here's a way to make color combinations. If you have lots of old cardstock, or you know, make your own little make your own color combinations with your paint chips or cardstock chips you can make your own uh, different kind of combinations for all different things of what colors are supplies are and I just keep them all on a lanyard they're hanging on or plural lanyards uh, now I'll probably get them all messed up here let's try to get them all together um, <laughs> so that's another way to collect to collect colors is paint chips and card paper colors you can um, go through your magazines. If you're going to throw, like Mary, just Mary Altier, she just went through her old magazine. She was going to throw them away, and then she pulled them back out to do a couple things. But anyway, um, if you're going to throw away a bunch of magazines, go through and pick out the colors. Go through, just go through your magazine, pick out everything red. Tear out everything red and just like tack it with a glue stick. Tack it with a glue stick in your in a in a comp, uh, composition book or in one of your idea collecting notebooks, and just go through. Let's see. Let me grab a magazine handy. Do I have one? Do I have one handy? Where's the one I was using the other day? Um, where did I put it? Not sure where I put that fashion magazine we were doing. Hang on, guys. I think I stuck it back on the shelf. Now I gotta look for it again. Well, I'm not seeing it. I stuck it somewhere. Ah, here it is. So fashion magazine we were using the other day. Oh my gosh! Tracy, Tracy, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my gosh. 
thank you so much. That is so awesome and generous. Thank you, Tracy, so much. You girls are just so awesome. <laughs> I don't know if I need a new 920 camera. I just don't know that it's the camera. You know, I don't know. But thank you. Thank you so much, Tracy. <clears throat> Y'all just sometimes leave me speechless, and I know that's hard to do. Thank you. We'll find something else for the, to make everything, you know, more improved as we go. You know, y'all got me the ring light one time. So I got, I just have a small one. It's just right, right here. You know, it's nothing, you know, but it, it, it helps with the lighting. Thank you so much. Um, I don't think it was happening on you stream, Jean. It, it started when we came over to YouTube. I did. I do know that the the issues with the camera. It was started. It started here when we moved over. But we'll go back to the nine thirty on Monday. Thank you so much, Tracy. That is so sweet. All you girls are so sweet. I, I really appreciate it. I mean, I really do. Hey, Azure, Kim, Karen, anybody else popping in? I got to catch my breath now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We're doing good, Azure. It's, it, I didn't even tweet out today. You know, we have almost 100 people for our impromptu. <laughs> and I didn't tweet it. Okay, so let's go back. And I know it gets a little pixelated and a little, you know. But we'll go back to the 930. Is there a 930 used to be a cracker? No, it, it, it wasn't for that, Gene. I think I was just trying to upgrade the camera. Back up, back on new stream days. I mean, you never thought I'd be lost for words, Elizabeth. I know. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Hey, Deb. Yeah, you left me speechless. I know. Thank you. <laughs> but I, it could be, Jean. You know, it could be. It could be very well. Could be the camera, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to the nine thirty on Monday and, and and test that with the microphone. So thank you, ladies. Thank you, Fibs. Friends in the box. So if you go through, <laughs> if you go through a magazine now, fashion magazine, of course, gonna have lots of. You know, we we were playing in this one the other day, but you know, if you find something, you know, if you're going to find go for a color just go through the whole thing and anything you find red or anything you find whatever color here's some a red on the pottery whatever you find just tear that out and tack it down um you know with the glue stick tack it down with a glue stick in in a notebook a three ring binder in a composition book in your idea collecting whatever you use your idea collecting in um, whatever you use to collect your color combinations and mind mapping and ideas. Uh, what is, yeah, I, it, I, I, when I, Azure, you weren't here, I got a new mic and it is set as the default. It is the default mic. I had to go in and set that up before I even got here. So yeah, the, the mic is, the new mic is the default. So yeah. Okay. So Let's just keep going with some more color ideas. Like here's the color combination. So I just did some little, little, um, you know, swatches here. And I think I use my Neo Color 2 water soluble crayons here. But again, use use your uh, Crayola crayons. It does. It's it's again. It's not about the supplies. Here's uh, some purple, pink, magenta, lime green, and green. 
So again, let's get our color book back over here. You want to do a color book page. Okay. What if you did it? What if you use those six colors? You know, um, a, a kind of a lavender, it's not quite lavender, but it's a washed out purple and purple, pink, magenta, lime green, and green. If you use those colors on this page, I mean, just kind of look at it for a second and think about using those colors. I mean, she could have pink hair. She could have lime green and purple striped shirt. Do you see what I'm saying? Your cousin gave you a bunch of fashion magazines, and I would love to send a few. Now, now, I, I don't don't send me any magazines. <laughs> that's, that's so sweet, Elaine. No, don't do that. You don't need to. Seriously, I have more. You know, I'm I'm going to buy me one new magazine. That that one that I've been using, I've been using that for three years, I think. I don't really use fashion magazines much except to do demos with uh, our drawing, proportion, shapes, and um, perspective. So I don't really use fashion magazines. That's very thoughtful of you. Yeah. You keep, you keep with five colors, Elizabeth? Yeah. Well, this one's six. I mean, that's what Design Seeds gives you. They give you six color combinations. So if you think about doing this page here with those, you know, pinks, purples, lime green, then, you know, can you already kind of picture what this is going to be? Very, very thoughtful of you, Elaine. That's very thoughtful. Yeah, that's very thoughtful. <clears throat> okay, so... Let's go a couple more. Here's some uh, like tans, sienna, some blues. And again, look, washi tape. Here was some pinks and yellows. I think these are more of some of those same colors. And then here we, we continued on as to what you think about with these colors. Oh, you're so thank. That's so nice of you, Elaine. That's very thoughtful. So from a butterfly to these bright colors, you could think of fairy wings. So again, these color combinations might work if you're coloring in a color book with fairies, elves, you know, butterflies, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then I forget who somebody, I wrote this down. Somebody said it. Fairies don't have wings. They just have... Uh, a resting butterfly on their back. I don't know if I thought that up or one of you guys did. I usually write the whoever's name when they say something like that. I write their name. Okay, so here we got a couple shades of orange, teal, and uh, grays and blacks. So you can just see the color combinations. So if you're not sure if it's going to work, say, in a project, uh, and I'm just using color books because, you know, a lot of us are working on these days. Um, it doesn't matter if you're using pastels, pencils, markers, neocolor, color, watercolor, acrylic paint, whatever uh, medium you're using, right? Uh, mushrooms in these colors in a forest. I wrote that little note down there. Make this these mushroom colors in a forest. Okay. Here is some blues and greens. Here's uh, a, a kind of a dark mint green, a sienna brown, an orange yellow. So again, and you can just do little doodles here like this to test to test your color combinations in. So I just made a little notebook full of like lettering um, and sketches and just here's a little, uh, my own little paint or color charts, just like this, just a little. Oh, see, some of the girls would love to have some Elaine. Very, very thoughtful, very sweet. So I made a bunch of those. And then here's just some words. So again, just more little quick little doodles to do testing on. 
So let's just pick, let me pick another color combination. Let's pick another color combination from Design Seeds. Okay, so that one we did a red and a blue. Let's do maybe, all right, this was searching by color. And you can pick different things. So we search by color here. But you can search by, um, let's go back. Um, you can search by seasons. You can search by, let's see. Seasonal Atlas. Let's look at that one. There's just different kind of combinations. Okay, so, and you can also get them daily. So I think every day design sees, if you follow them on Pinterest or IG, probably Pinterest has probably got the most uh, design seed stuff on it, but whatever. Okay, so here we go. Design seeds, you can pick it by like these paler, look at these pretty paler colors here. Um, let's see what else do we have. Okay, so here's some different ones here. This one's called Drift, Texture, Press Play. Let's just see what this one does. There's all different color combinations throughout. You'll find just tons. Like, all right, So look at this, these colors. Okay, so if I was going to, I'm not, it's not next to the microphone. But <laughs> let me get, um, where's my water brush? Mm -hmm. Okay, get a water brush here. All right, so I'm just going to kind of randomly pick from whatever tin that, that I can see I can get these colors from. All right, so like this, um, it's kind of a teal color. So let's get the darker teal here first. So let's say maybe this guy here. If y'all want to ask me, remember, put it in caps. <clears throat> I'm going to show you some more notebooks here in a minute that you can get the ideas from. Let's water that down. Let's squeeze some water out from my brush. And water that down. And maybe then in the sky will be less, you know, that lighter color right there. So I'm trying to kind of get those two colors like that. Okay. And then maybe the waves, maybe they have the purple in them. So I'm going to come over here and some of my purples. Let's get a couple. Let's get some of the, some of the Ganzai Tambi and some purple. So if you just have any little kind of doodles or sketches, then you can go and use those in your color. All right. And then the rocks. Maybe the rocks are these oranges. Let me get a Kleenex to clean my brush off. Oops. Come on, guys. I set off my, what do you call it, heat gun. Okay. So I'll clean off the brush. And then uh, the orange, the dark orange, and, and they also have a gray in here. I'm going to kind of ignore the gray. I'm just going to go with the oranges. So let's see which one. This one probably has the best example. A little too dark. Let me just come over here on my palette. I'm going to squeeze some of that out. So we we'll have some of these rocks can be oranges. It's a, I think it's more of a cream orange. It's kind of a creamy color here. So you can see, you can get a little bit of color combinations going. Okay, just so you can kind of see. Oh, JL. Grant, Grandson pointed to the computer and said, Dee Dee, hi. When, what's his name? I'll say hi to him, JL. So then you have these color combinations, right, down in, in some form. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh, the colors are nice. Thank you. And I can't pronounce your name, but thank you. It looks like baby. <laughs> it looks like baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> I know that's not what it is, I don't think, but. 
<laughs> uh, so, see, and it's, again, I guess I could turn, I don't know how to get it too dark, but I think you can see it there. It's Janice. Oh, oh okay, Janice. Hey, Janice. Uh, B, what is it? B, B limit? B Jan, ugh. which Janice is it? The Janice. I'm Baby Coco. Okay, Baby Coco. That's so cute. Welcome, Baby Coco the hamster. Now I see how it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's just with the different fonts. Okay. <laughs> Baby Coco hamster. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay. So, again, you know, this is just a, a little doodles. I have all kinds of little doodles in here to use to color on. So you could make a little notebook like this, or it could be in your three ring binder. You know, we'll pick one more. Is it B. Lilith Janice? I'm not sure which Janice. His name is the grandson is Paul. Hi, Paul. Okay, let's go with uh, let's go with these colors here. They're kind of watermelon colors, pink watermelon and like an olive green okay so let's do let's do these maybe these umbrellas over here that i sketched so we'll get a let's water down some red here for a nice light pink where's my kleenex i gotta keep cleaning off my brush it's just well well hi Janice. i hope you're healed up or healing up good to see you Okay, so I've got a little too much purple in that, but let's see. Let's go with this pink here. This is kind of a nice and bright pink in this set. There we go. So we can go with pink. I hope y'all can see. Oh, that puts glare on there. I hope y'all can see some of this and it's not too flashed out. Our Janice. Okay, well, welcome, Janice. I'm glad you're glad you're back around. And then a little bit of kind of an of white orange with that kind of pink color. And let's water it down. I've got to kind of squeeze some water out of my brush here because it's very uh, concentrated. Okay, so kind of get a watermelon color going. Okay, a couple of pinks. And then like an olive. Here's like an olive. So you can just get color combination ideas. From the design seeds. This is very pale, guys. I should maybe shouldn't have picked watercolors to do this with because it doesn't show up on camera that well. But I really want you to get the ideas. So like a coral, a pink, and an olive. You know, let's see if I can get those three colors kind of bright. With the orange and the there we go. A little more pink. And then a, an olive green. Let's get it nice and concentrated. Maybe a little more. See? See those colors right there? That would be, those colors would be an awesome combination. Along with maybe a light shade and a gray. So use the coral, the hot pink, the, the um, olive, and then maybe a gray or a light pink with it. I don't hope y'all find this kind of interesting. <laughs> Because I love me some color color combinations. That's going to get on there, so I'll be careful here. So again, just do you out some sketches. These are just little sketches I've doodled out to do color combinations on. So there's that little notebook, okay? So for some other ones, let's move all this out of the way. There is, you can do a full notebook of all different colors. Hey, CB. You like doing this? <laughs> no, well, I know I, uh, Eileen loves her color combinations. And uh, yeah, I know she likes doing it. <laughs> uh, I think it's great what you, you cover in your streams. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Yeah, we do a little of everything. Um, you know, and sometimes things get repeated over the years. Like we've done shows on color combinations a few times, you know, over the eight years. But, you know, new people come around and they don't know that or they've never seen us do that. So it's it's fun to re, re uh, 
address it. Oh, good. You're always trying to do color combinations, Kenny. I love to see you very helpful when I sit in front of a project to go die. Yeah, I know, Elaine, right? It really is. Because if you, you keep notebooks, and this is why I tell you guys. <laughs> all right, now I might have to turn the brightness down just a little on this one. Um, get my hand in there so I can kind of see. There we go. Keep a notebook of if you want to do all colors, if you want to do your own combinations, if you just want just to keep like the other notebook I showed you that has just all random color combinations. Well, I know you do, Julie, with all your multiple multiple pages. What are you up to? 600? Are you up? You're over 700 now, aren't you, Julie? Julie's been doing mixed media, um, different art journaling pages. For I think she's close to, if not at least 700 in a row. <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot of uh, continuous. 655 today. Okay. And if you don't follow Julie, um, well, it, her name is Topaz Pearl Girl. Uh, she and I have, I, I got to admit, I haven't been over to Pinterest in a while, but she it has an awesome Pinterest. So if you want, if you've never been on Pinterest, you want to follow someone on Pinterest that you know, go to a Topaz Pearl Girl on Pinterest. Uh, I'm over there, guys, but I don't, you know, I get over there maybe once a month if I'm lucky. Oh, my gosh, Sammy. Sammy, so sweet. Thank you for the super chat, Sammy. Oh, my gosh, girl, girl. Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Sammy. <laughs> Hiya. That's that's Sammy's way when she when people come into her chat. If y'all follow color and chat with Sammy, she does awesome, beautiful, stunning color book pages. She's kind of like, I don't know, I don't want to say she's my color book hero. I don't want to embarrass her like that. But like uh Sheldine is kind of like my pan pastel ninja. Um, Sammy would probably be like, maybe she's not quite the ninja, but she's the, she's close. <laughs> so yeah, if y'all want to follow an awesome color book girl, uh, color and chat with Sammy. Oh, so sweet. Hiya. <laughs> That's going to be like we have for Terry. Um, and, and she didn't, I don't even know she knew I was streaming because I forgot to tweet. So, but she wasn't here, um, um, Wednesday because she overdid it. She overdid herself. So, but uh, you know, Terry has her cougar sound. So Sammy's going to have to have, hi <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, she's an awesome coach. Thank you so much, Sammy. That's so sweet. And if y'all know, Sammy just started getting into, um, pan pastels herself. And, uh, <laughs> oh thanks sammy she's like she's just getting into pan pastels too like i am and uh so we're kind of learning together on that <laughs> oh so y'all are so sweet and generous thank you guys so much so uh, let me go ahead and show you some more color combinations and where you can get ideas these are some pan uh pan tone color chart um color charts so now to buy a full on Pantone color chart, like the big ones you see at the paint store, they're hundreds of dollars. You wouldn't think I have an old, old one around here somewhere. Where is it? I have a very old one. Oh, uh, where is it? Ah, here it is. I don't even know how old. this one's back from. This is back from uh, my. Um, what do you call it? Days. A uh, Days in. Um, uh you know, decorating stores. <laughs> so this is an old one. But these things, now this one, I don't know, is a color trend. This is from 1991. So just to show you how old this is. But Pantone has them and you can buy, they're awesome. 
I don't have any because, you know, I, I'm, I don't, I'm not in the business, you know, to be using all those colors. But you can pick up color charts. I mean, colors, you know, the swatches like these, you know, in Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, any place that sells paint. So pick you up a few. Don't go in there and try to get a hundred of them. I mean, pick up, you know, do, you know, you know, be, be, uh, oh, you know, don't be, don't be selfish. <laughs> I mean, they, they put them out there for you to take, but you know what I mean? You're going to probably feel a little silly just walking in the store and taking, you know, a hundred color swatches and walking out. People are going to be looking like, what, what? <laughs> but, you know, pick up a few. Like you can get, look at all these shades of purple on one. So I don't need to go get every color of Pantone uh, <laughs> swatch because look how many are on one. Again, the Pantone version of these, um, if you're into dec if you're a decorator, uh, you know, a, a visual merchandiser, display, you know, anything that has to do with paint colors. Um, like I said, this one's from 1991. So, uh, yeah. But there are hundreds of dollars. So just go get you some paint chips. <laughs> go get you some paint chips. Uh, yeah, she does, doesn't she, guys? I know. And she's just set up her new camera and everything herself. So, yeah, go follow us. And, and anybody here, guys, anybody that y'all see talking about their channel, y'all are free to talk about your channels. Uh, I mean, you know, everybody pretty much is respectful of not being a spammer coming in just to say, hey, go watch my, you know, go to my videos and see ya. You know, <laughs> uh, but we're big on sharing and promoting other people. I'll be the first one to talk about someone. I respect their artistic abilities. I'll I'll talk about their channels. I'll talk tell you, tell you to go to them. So you know we we're big on sharing. You know I know we all can't be at everybody's live show because they're getting more and more and more. But I do you know and I can't be at everyone either. But I do try to go and uh, watch recordings. Or stop in, you know, if you can't be at everybody's stream, even mine, if you can't be here, just pop in and say, hey, just want to say hi, and go on over to, you know, whoever's streaming that day. It, you're not going to hurt our feelings. We all understand. Uh, we all understand that um, you can't be at all, all of them. You know, but that being said, you know, don't come into my show and say, so-and-so streaming, let's go over there. That's just rude. You know? <laughs> and I don't think any of us do that. But uh, so, yeah, don't come, don't, or, or don't do it to anybody else. Don't go to someone else's show and say, oh, Dee Dee's streaming over, you know, that's, that's hurtful. That's hurtful to the different people because, you know, everybody's trying to do their best art and to share with you. It's a lot of work and a lot of time, a lot of pre stuff, a lot of cleanup, a lot of keeping up with to finish projects after the fact. And I do, a, you know, I do a full day a week of happy mail. Um, so it's a lot of work. So, you know, be respectful of the streamers. If you've never streamed before, you don't know how much work is really involved. You just see us come on for three hours and go, well, wow, she streamed for three hours. What's she going to do the rest of the day? You know, <laughs> so, yeah, be considerate of other streamers and support them, you know. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Shay. Yeah, you, Shay and, um, and, and Shay and Mark and um, Faith have a, they do a hangout every now and then. And I try to pop in over there. And speaking of Mark, you know, I think he had a birthday this week. I'm not sure. Shay, if you see him, tell him we said happy birthday. Um, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't, don't, don't do it. Don't be a spammer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what kind of, yeah. Thank you, Julie. What just happened? What I miss? Hey, Grace, you're not missing. We're just talking color combinations and chatting, you know. Okay, so here's what, okay, is this upside down? No? Yeah, okay, I put this upside down. Hang on, let me turn this over. It looks the same from the front and the back. So I put a color wheel in here, glue this color wheel in here. Uh, and then this right here has got um, my little... Um, what are they called again? What are these, Eileen? What are these paints called? Um, uh, da, 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 da. These are watercolor pencils. 
one of the girls made this for me, but I also have one that has, um, what are those called? I think it starts with a P. What are those, uh, dispo no, I don't want to call them disposable, uh, you know, the little swatches, the watercolor swatches that you buy. Peerless. Thank you. Peerless. Yeah. The, these aren't peerless. Some, one of the girls made this for me. But you can, the peerless watercolor swatches. Uh, so I have my, I have a, my, all my different um, color wheels and stuff in here. And so this is one of the places. And I, to be honest, I completely forgot I swatched these. <laughs> so I, I, I did this for the, uh, oh, Tracy. Oh, my gosh. Tracy, thank you so much for the super chat. See, now, if this was, um, I don't know if Manny Cam or something like that does. If this was Twitch, we'd have bells. <laughs> we'd have something going on. I should have a, I should do a, um, <laughs> I should make my own super chat uh, sound from my, where's my phone? Let's see what we can do. Wait, hang on, guys. I got to do this. I'm going to have to have a super chat ring of some kind. Let me go to my soundboard because I can't do it on the computer. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. Let's see. What's a good one? Um, well, I can just do applause, but but that's not a lot of fun. We got to have something. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> yeah, we we'll, we have to do something fun. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Tracy. Thank you all. Thank you, Sammy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Tracy. Both Tracy's. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we do Grace. And Grace is another one that has a, a YouTube channel. So y'all just go over, follow their names over, click the three dots. You can go at least on the computer. And I think so, a Jean said on the iPad too. Not sure on the phone. But you can just follow their name, click the three dots, and it'll take you to their channel without leaving here. So you go go follow people, you know. You can go follow people while you're here. <laughs> uh, when you give money at the dollar store, they shout out. Um, they shout out over the speaker. And say, woo, do they? Okay. I'm missing the grasshopper badly. <laughs> the grasshopper. So anyway, all right, well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. You mean the, the cricket, Victoria? Are you talking about the cricket? What I do, that's in the that's in the store. Yeah. Um let's see. That's on I think that's on is it my soundboard? I think it's on my soundboard. The cricket, let's see. Hang on, guys. Yeah, the cricket, I like to do this in the store. If you're in line, and it's just, guys, it's just called Soundboard. It's just called Soundboard, and there's pages of them, and it's free. You know, you can, of course, or maybe it's 99 cents app uh, called Soundboard. And that's the best thing to have done. Aw, thanks, Shirley. Um, this is fun to do. In the store, where'd I do? I just had it. Where'd my cricket go? Where'd my cricket go? Here we go. Yeah, if you're in a long line and it's moving slow, just turn this on. <laughs> and everybody will look around wondering who, where it's coming from. <laughs> oh, now that's the whip app. Uh, Ms. Nobody, that's a different app. That's the Whip app. Um, and it does, uh, yeah, let's see here. Hang on. Let me go find it. Um, let's see. Where's my Whip app? Where is that baby? Ah, here it is. It's called the, it's called the Pocket Pocket Whip. Pocket Whip. And there's different sounds on that one, too. You can just have your general whip. Okay, and what you do is you do it with your phone. <laughs> I 
I don't want to do too much, um, you know, music or anything. But yeah, the, the pocket whip. And you can just have, let's go to regular, just a regular whip. And you shake your phone. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. So now back to my color swatching. <laughs> so here's where I did my 150 Prisma and I wrote down the color. I did, I swatched the colors, the names and the numbers. Okay. So there's my 150 Prismas. <laughs> Five scoops. <laughs> Then I did my luminance. What else do I have in here? I got all I got different. I don't even know if they're filed in under whatever. Okay, so then here's um, I think I did all these. Oh, here's some. Here's my peerless. Here's my peerless. Uh, um, <laughs> Eileen. So yeah, so I think I did reds under this one. Oranges and reds, may or pinks. Pinks and reds. And you can make your own tabs. So here's the peerless. If you don't know what the peerless is, they're little, they're, they, they're usually about, I think, about that big. I'm not sure when you buy them. Um, yeah, what do I do with the whip? Yeah, when, when I get, when I, uh, I'm in the store and I want to crack the whip. Yeah, in the store. Like if he's daddle, doodling, doddling, if he's doddling at something, I'll get the whip up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and then if you're in a long line that's moving slow, that's when you pull out the crickets. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I really do do it, yeah. Or if you want to get cracked lacking, yes. If you want to get, get people moving, you know, come on, let's get, let's get to work. You know, when we're here sitting here, <laughs> crack that whip. It's called the pocket whip. Elaine, the whip app is called the pocket whip and you can buy other sounds. I haven't bought any. It comes with, I think comes with the Indiana Jones and it comes with the regular whip and there's probably other sounds. I, you know, I, the, two whips is plenty. <laughs> okay. So here's where I swatched out my Neo color two and here's the peerless. And the thing, the idea behind this particular book is if you want to take some watercolors with you, and you don't have to make it such a, you know, this is pretty, this is pretty hefty for a, a carrying around, right? Um, I, I would even suggest now, you know, uh, using your traveler's notebooks. So you could put this in your traveler's notebook swatches. Uh, and I might even do that. I might move mine into the travelers. Oh, here's more. <laughs> I made a flap. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, yesterday, the grocery, a man in front of me ran phone rang and it was the Tarzan jungle sound oh my gosh I have not heard that in forever Tarzan the jungle with uh what's the comedian that sang it what's his name oh who sang Tarzan of the jungle somebody somebody help me out here Eileen <laughs> I always call on Eileen because she's uh, she's uh uh experienced in the in those uh earlier <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, what is his name? I can picture him in my. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about the song. Remember, guitars and you know. I don't know if that's the same song that they're talking about. The Tarzan song. Who sang guitars and? I can picture him in my head. <laughs> Somebody's gonna come up with it. Hey, Colleen. Colleen, I saw that. I didn't go see it yet, but I'm looking forward to go. I hope you recorded your new room tour. Oh, come on. I got to look it up myself. All right. I'll look it up myself. I got Google, people. I got Google. Let's see if I can do it quicker than you guys can. <laughs> Ray Stevens. Thank you, Karen. Ray Stevens. Yes. Get Tarzan. Go look it up. <laughs> Uh, Lynn's got it too. Yeah, Lynn came up with it. But be prepared to get see. Okay, that's all right, Colleen. You know, it's hard to it's hard to move around a studio tour and have it like you know not be a little you know moving. <laughs> yeah, 
not get Tarzan. Okay, so back to the color. We do rabbit trails here, people. So um, I swatched out all my neo colors, like the pinks and the reds, and then my peerless. Here's the more peerless here. They don't have names and numbers. The neos have, like here is salmon pink, salmon pink, raspberry red, scarlet, ruby red, carmine, purple. So those are the colors in the, uh, the thing about this is you can, you know, we all know peerless, of course. Peerless is made for you to pull off, see? They're made for you to use them as the swatches. They're very concentrated pigments on a card. You'll have to look them up. But if you've never used Peerless, they're pretty awesome. Right, Eileen? <laughs> oh, you will. Peerless are very cool. And they're so portable. But, um, you know, swatch out your Neo colors. And then you can pick up that. And let's go over here. And see, you can pick up your colors and use them off of there. So if you want a portable, you know, if, if you don't have peerless, peerless are made to be portable. Yeah, they do have awesome. I don't have every peerless color, but I've got quite a few. I mean, I've got enough to travel with, right? And look how that's one, one little pickup. And, you know, I could have even got more off of that. So they're just highly concentrated little papers, little cardstock papers. And um, Daniel Smith, I think, does watercolor dots. So, um, uh, you know, for samples. Now, Peerless is not necessarily for samples, but I know that it, it's kind of the same principle that Daniel Smith dots staff. And you can buy a Daniel Smith dot chart. Uh, oh, thanks, Eileen. Eileen just put the Peerless uh, uh, link in there. Uh, Daniel Smith dots have the same kind of thing, but they're just little samples. There's much more on a Peerless, right? Okay, so there's my pinks and reds and purples, and then here's my ink tints. So I did this, I swatched out, and I didn't put the numbers and names of my ink tints, but it's the same kind of thing, you know, your ink tints. Punch the peerless into cute shapes for a palette. Oh my gosh, what a great idea, Fairy There. What a great idea. Fairy There said to punch the peerless into shapes. But if you do that, let me say this, if you punch a shape out of your peerless squares, don't throw away the, the negative space or the, you know, don't throw away the outer area because that's all full of pigment. So keep the negative space and the little punch, right? Awesome idea. And so cute. So cute. I don't think, I don't know if I, do you have a uh, YouTube channel? fairy there okay so here's yellows golds oranges and again here's my neos and yellows oranges ochres my peerless here's a couple more peerless and they're just so concentrated now i think i put these down they look see how it looks green well maybe it doesn't on the camera but it looks green like a green square it's really kind of like um almost like a golden ochre color you know, so it's hard to tell. That's why you need to swatch your peerless because it, they don't look the same color at all, you know, as the actual color. You lose some pigment by doing that, though. Yeah, I imagine you would by punching them out, Eileen. Yeah, that's why I'd say I'd save the I'd save the uh, if you punched out the middle, save the outer uh, edge. <laughs> don't throw that away. Uh Jean, I got my Peerless in a photo album, taped them to the top of a plastic insert and put the swatch card on the photo spot. Yeah, you. I remember you did that. Jean, you need to re-show that again on your show. The, your plastic, she does, she used a photo album system to put her Peerless on. Music scrap, Jean. Okay, well, we're just, you know, again, guys, it's all about color combinations today. It's not about a project. I just want to kind of, you know, show different color combinations. And again, take your colors, whatever color combination, where's the ones we just did? Whatever color combinations you come up with. And again, I use design seeds because they have awesome color combinations. But whether you use paint chips or whatever you use, you know, continue out with the words 
with, you know, combine your colors with your ideas and your words, whether it just be in a bullet journal type list or mind mapping or whatever. Um, continue it out. And I got one more note. Well, I got two more notebooks after this one. <laughs> no, I got three more notebooks. Oh my gosh, y'all bored with color combinations yet? Bye, Kim. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here, all of you guys. It's so awesome. Thank you. Bye, Kim. Have a great weekend. Hi, Patricia. And Patricia, I, I see you here now. You were one that, there was a few people that I went back and watched my show. And I said, oh, my gosh, I didn't even see Patricia came in. I see you this time, Patricia. So good morning. Hi, Debbie Riddick. Hi, guys. Anybody else I missed? And I do, I do go back and, and scroll through the chat, you know, kind of fast forward it through the chat. Not every show, but, you know, I try to do one a week, one of my, my shows a week and see if there's people I missed because I don't want to miss you guys. Hey, Terry Darkin lady, it's been a while. Okay, Melody. Message me back again, Melody, after you, like tomorrow, you know, after you get a good night's sleep. It's been, you know, I just like to check on you. I did send you out a card too, Melody. So, yeah, you, you take care of yourself. We don't want you sick, Miss Melody. Hey, Mitz. Hey, Susan. Good to see you. Hi, Brand L. Brandon. I know I'm missing people. Thanks, guys, for understanding. Otherwise, I'd just sit here and talk to you guys and do nothing else, <laughs> which is tempting some days. Uh, sometimes it is. It's a little tempting just to sit and read. Hey, faithful mess. Bid mod salute. Sorry, so busy this morning. Barely read. Okay. Lurk away. We love our lurkers. Hi, Donna. We love our lurkers. Okay. So here's, again, here's my Neos, my Peerless, and my Ink Tents. And I really should put all the numbers and stuff on that. Um, here are, oh, here's a small thing of the peerless. Okay, so that one kind of unstuck there. Let's put a little drop of, oh, it goes that way. So here's some smaller peerless in a little, just, you know, just have a little folder. Again, guys, if, you, if you're if you one to do traveler's notebooks, um, hi, Deborah. Hey, Jeannie. If you're one to do traveler's notebooks, then cut these uh, accordingly to fit in a traveler's. Okay, here's purples, pinks. All right, so here again, my Neos, my Peerless, and my Ink Tints. Then I got um, neutrals. See, here's the different. Oh, that's the prim, the prim, a prim, prim, prima neutrals. Then here's Neos, Ink Tints. So then the blues and kind of aqua colors, Neo. Peerless. I'm sad I didn't even finish the ink tints. <laughs> Here's uh, more blues and purples. So you can do kind of things like this. And again, you can get these kind of paint chips. These are from the, you know, paint chip department. This is Glidden Paints. You know, you can get paint chips. Uh, you can use these to make tabs with. You know, cut these out, punch them out, fold them in half. And let's just pull one off here. You can take your little uh, paint chip things. Fold them in half and make uh, tabs. Or you can use, like, you'll, I, you'll, I'll show you in one of my other notebooks. I made tabs with um, big paint chips. You don't have to use the whole paint chip, obviously. <laughs> you can use a part of it. And make your make tabs for your, uh, you know, color tabs. Then here's some oranges, browns. So more oranges, more paint chips. So, yeah. So you can make you a notebook. It doesn't have to be a specific notebook. It can be a composition book. It can be in your three-ring binder, you know. So there's two of them. Then I'm not sure what projects these were. These were some different color projects. And I'm not even sure. Ah, okay. So here's one of our challenges. We did these. These were some of the very first shows we did. These are probably, I don't even know how old they are. These are, uh, because these we did a long time ago. I've, I've taken them out of the notebooks. I've deconstructed. If you get paint chips and then two years later you find them 
they're great for collage. <laughs> yeah, Eileen, for sure. But if you're one to make a color combination notebook, whatever kind of notebook, like you see all these different ones I have. And then I've got the ones, the color combinations with the mind maps uh, where you, you just take one color. I don't know if I need to get that notebook out. I can probably just explain it to you where you take, um, you take your color. Okay. Like this, but I do have all the lists on there. Okay. So I'll, I'll, let's just take a marker here. So you just do a, uh, Color in a circle, a square, doesn't matter. Well, I like circles when I mind map. All right, so you got red, right? So you go red. And then you mind map out every single thing you can think of, like cherries, anything, you know, a red wagon, anything that you can think of that's that, that color. I'm telling you, people, you do these kind of exercises, you will never have a non-imaginative day, a non-creative day. All you have to do is go get your three-ring binder out, open up a page, and you're going to have an idea. I promise you. Yes, the lemon lime one is in here, I think. Yes, Julie, I think the lemon lime thing is in here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Joycey. Um, so, and then from like from the red wagon, you might think that may may think of you of your of your childhood toys. And then from toys, of course, you're gonna have a gazillion things. And then like from you know, all you can think of apples, any kind of fruit that's red or tomato. Or whatever, you know, and you just keep going. Anything you think of as red, a rose, lipstick. And then if you're stuck for if nothing, no ideas come to you, start combining them. Start combining uh, a rose and a tomato. And just, just imagine that for a minute. Picture it in your head. A rose and a tomato. You know, just, 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 just think about it for a minute cherries in a red wagon you know just start doing odd combinations and you will you will come up with ideas i promise you you will come up with ideas so take every kind of, I'll, I'll pull out my um, newest one that i did for you guys uh and that's in my other three ring big big by idea collecting binder okay so these are some old ones though so what we did, and I can't even remember how we selected the um, how we selected the um, colors. I don't know if it was random. I forget how we did it. This one was navy, peach, and cream. I don't know where the other double page spread is. Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay. So what we did is I had everybody. It was a challenge. You know, it was like one of the challenges we did for the week. Um, that week, and uh, so we did. These colors were navy, cream, and peach. I don't know if we decided who picked the colors, if we did it random. I don't remember. Or did we just go off of them? I don't remember how we decided. But it's kind of the same thing, except these aren't in circle mind maps. These are just in little paint swatch squares. For instance, navy, a police uniform, a British sailor's uniform, sapphire, cobalt glass, blueberries, a stormy sky, Stewardess uniforms. Well, that's back in the day. I don't know what they wear anymore. Uh, Linda's cell phone. <laughs> so there's things that were blue. Cream. Old parchment paper. Butter. Old lace. Coffee with cream. Dog fur. A bagel. Pasta. French vanilla. Unfinished wood. Manila folders. Masking tape. Uh, lamp. Lampshades. Basket. So those colors. And then for peach, we have uh, the inside of a cantaloupe, um, peach roses, apricot, makeup, seashells, uh, band-aids, you know, and it's more, this is more of a peachy salmon color, but you get the idea. We yelled out the colors, uh, I, uh, Joycey said. So again, these are just three colors. And then we, I use the uh, paint swatches, paint swatches to make the tabs. So, you know, so that's how we come up with color combinations. You mentioned a site that's suggested for color combo. Yeah, design-seeds.com. I wrote it down too. Where's that? Design-seeds.com. And they have color combinations for season. I mean, just thousands, literally thousands of color combinations. These we just did three. 
And so then here was, and then magazine things that we cut out magazines and color combinations. See, all this is in, and this is upside down, I think. I'm not sure. Then we had, here was um, lemon, lime, and lilac. And here's, we made a copy of one of these pages for some reason. Oh, now it's back upside down again. There, I just deconstructed this journal. So, so here are things that were in lemon, lime, and lilac. It, you know, I had some duct tape. There's some pencils. There's some ribbon. Here's a little flower, magazine images, markers. Here's some string. Some uh, string. So these color combinations. Thanks, Eileen. And thanks, Alin, for putting in the links. So again, guys, trying to give you all some com color combination ideas. Here was bright red, mustard, and Caribbean blue. Okay, so here we got all kinds of, and again, use the paint swatches or tabs to show. So these would stick out of your notebook, right? So you got these in a three ring binder. These little tabs are going to stick out. So you can see things that are in these color combinations. Okay. And I know I'm pixelating for just a second, guys. I don't know why that's happening every now and then. But I can't blame the new microphone. I hope the new microphone's working well. Okay. So for instance, for bright red, a tulip, lipstick, a fire engine, tomato, apple, valentines, a Coke can, a phone booth, cherries, a stoplight, the London buses, uh, red long johns, rubies, fire hydrants. Now, just think about this for a minute. Let's put your little creative hats on, okay? So you got those combinations. Then you've got, for uh, mustard color, ochre, giraffes, mustard, dandelions, a lion, you know, the ant lion. Hang on. Okay, I got bright sun coming through. Let me, let me block some of the bright, bright sun. Because it gets really flashed out with the bright sun. Uh, a nat ge geographic cover, the inside of a mango. So you got those colors. Then you got um, Caribbean blue. Bluebirds, a pool. Canson Mixed Media Journal, <laughs> the Smurfs, uh, Blue Gummies, um, or Goomies, depending on, it was Anne here, Goomy Bears, that's what you call them in Germany, we call them Goomy Bears, uh, Sea Sky, uh, Blue Jay, Turquoise color, Turquoise uh, Jewels, Corn Flowers, a Blue Snow Cone, William Shatner's eyes. <laughs> so anyway, but now what you can do from here is if you've mind mapped out these colors or bullet journaled them or listed them, whatever combination works for you. You like that, Eileen? Now try to take William Shatner with his blue eyes. Put him in some red long johns. Uh, in on on in the desert <laughs> with sand. You see what I'm saying? So you start doing odd combinations. Now, whether you actually do William Shatner and and Red Lawn Johns in the desert is is not the point. <laughs> the point is is to get your imagination going. Now, you may not use William Shatner, but maybe you have something you want to do with somebody else. But you know, you know, William Shatner will do. <laughs> or, or here's a giraffe. What about a giraffe in red long johns? Or the Smurfs, the blue Smurfs in red long johns, you know, on riding a giraffe. You see? So you're using your color combinations. <laughs> um, you're using your color combinations along with your mind mapped out ideas to combine in new ways, right? <laughs> No more phone booths wonder what Superman does nowadays. <laughs> I don't know, Tracy. Drive eating blueberries on a fire drive. Yeah, see, you get the idea. You get the idea. You will never run out of create. And, and even if you don't use these specific things, it's 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 uh, enhancing your creativity. It's forcing your imagination to work. People that say they don't have an imagination, they've never done this one page. You do this one page 
and you will see your imagination, you see? And then from there, it's, it's like a muscle. Your imagination, creativity is like a muscle. The more you use it, the more ideas will come to you. Trust me, you got, but you got to do this stuff. You can't keep this stuff in your head. You might keep the fire truck and the, and the giraffe and William Shatner in your head, but you're not going to keep 30, 40, 50, 100 different ideas in your head. That's why you have to write it down. If you don't write it down, it doesn't count. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so let's see what else we got in this pile. Here's another con. All right, so here we have tan, teal, and terracotta. Okay. For tan, we, and these are just things that people shouted out. We wrote down uh, like in, in five seconds, right? Hay, skin, a potato, and baskets. Teal, sea, butterfly wings, and a betta fish. Terracotta, brick, stone, acorn, wood, a fox, a squirrel, and clay. Okay, so if you have a, you know, maybe a betta fish um, in the woods, floating in the woods with acorns instead of, Instead of water droplets or bubbles, you got acorns. You know, a betta fish, a, a teal betta fish in the in the in the water with acorn bubbles. You know, I could just picture this is what I just pictured. The little acorns, you know. Okay. The little acorns like this. And the fish, the betta fish here with this long, you know, the betta fish. And his bubbles, the acorn here, the little caps are popping off. I'm seeing it in animation. See, this is why I got to learn Digi and anime someday. Because <laughs> I can picture this stuff in animation, right? And the little acorn tops are going boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I know. See, I feel like you got to have an imagination. Okay, so there's those color combinations. What other do we have in here? Here's some, um, some. Uh, I don't know if we named these, but the, the dark teal and the purple. We got all different kinds in here. So what I did is just made tabs with the paint chips. Took a paint chip, folded it in half, and made tabs. And then if you collect images out of magazines, colors, then just stick them down with a glue stick in your uh, notebook. It doesn't even have to be a notebook. Look at these fingernails. That was an advertisement. Uh, it doesn't have to be in a notebook. It could be in a, um, it could be in a, uh, what do you call it? A three ring binder. You know, it can be in lots of things. So here's just some of the, one of the deconstructed notebooks that I pulled off the shelf with amongst other deconstructed covers and stuff got all kinds of stuff here that we use different projects for anyway this was just one stack okay then this notebook i have no idea what this one is this one's really jammed up here but it's a big it's a i think that's a four maybe three inch notebook three inch three inch binder another three inch binder i love my three inch binders um, yeah, it can be so many things, and that's the idea. If you but you gotta write them down, sketch it out, write it out, keep post it notes, even if you just write it all. Look, I got my post it notes stacks with me everywhere I go. There's stacks of them in my by my bed, by my desk, by my art table, you know, because then you can, even if you don't have your big three ring mama jamba binders with you. You can at least have it done on a post-it note and then stick it in the stick it in your book. You don't have to rewrite it unless you want to. Okay, so I don't even know what we have here. These are some color combinations and tabs, and I don't know what all we got in here. Um, how, did you check the sound it, earlier? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. And I think pushing it back just a little bit. It helped, yeah, because I talked so loud, so pushing it back helped. Yeah. Hubs just saying that pushing the mic back out. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you get your call? Yeah, it went good. Okay, well, you can tell me about it later. Yeah, it was just a prep. Okay, all right. Um, a squirrel house in a beta fish tank with a mechanical squirrel that runs out every 10. Yeah, like a button that could be a um, steampunk. See, so it's a steampunk squirrel or, or a steampunk beta fish. 
Okay, so here's more color combination things. And again, it's just got different, um, I made little uh, pockets. I made pockets to hold different color combination things, right? Say tabs, tags, anything with those color combinations. Are you st we still with the tour? Yeah, he already left, guys. Yeah, thanks for saying hi. Uh, <clears throat> so just different kinds of paint, paint chips, tabs, any kind of notes, colors, ribbons. So, yeah. This is a... Oh, wait. Hang on, guys. I'm not even on camera. Hang on. Let's, let's move over here. It's a big. It's a big notebook. <laughs> it's a big mama jama. Let me readjust uh, the uh, lighting here. Just a minute. Good. Got the brightness down just a little. That's pretty good. Still clutching the velvet rope. Okay. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> So this is a big notebook and I am, uh, my camera is um, backed up as far, well, I think it's backed up as far as I can do it. Yeah, it's, it's not zoomed in at all. I'm not zoomed in. I can, I can raise the camera by putting it on more blocks. But uh, anyway, so just so that y'all can see some color combinations, paint chips, uh, paint, paper whatever and i think we did these alphabetically too at one time we did an alphabet thing that's in the alphabetica the alphabetica is a whole different project so here's pinks and tains gray this is a photograph i took now this is how old this is look at that old cell phone that's a flip phone people that's at the lake that's at the lake with a flip phone and this dragonfly you can see how big that dragonfly is by the size of the phone it landed on this pink uh, lake deck chair on the dock. So that's the water in the background. That's the pink deck chair. That's a dragonfly. Now, oh, your hubby, your hubby still uses this, but does it still work? Button? Oh my gosh. But this is how old this picture is. But the colors. So I took these colors. No, I don't have an Instat camera. I, I just pretty much do. I take all, pic, all my pictures that you see posted. It's everything's done on my phone. I have the i7P and Hubster has i8P. He needed a new phone and I didn't care about an upgrade because mine's still fine. I've got, you know, 1500 pictures on mine, <laughs> but I cloud them. I cloud my, uh, I cloud my pictures though. So. But anyway, what I'm showing you is the color combination. So with that, that pink and that blue and the dragonfly. So I use that picture. I just printed it out. Um, if y'all have seen my old scrapbook, scrapbooks, and that's another thing someday I'll show y'all if there's anybody that still scrapbooks, I have like this, this size, uh, but the 12 by 12, I have like 25, 25 of them. And I, I would take all my own pictures. I print all my own pictures. I print them all. I don't print a lot anymore, but when I was scrapbooking, I printed out all my own pictures Here's, uh, here's a, I love this picture. This is Boo when she was little, pumping up her uh, bike tire. I, I uh, did a scrapbook page of this and entitled it Faith <laughs> because she had faith that she was going to be able to pump that tire up. <laughs> Look how little she was. Oh, my gosh. She is almost 16 now. This is how, she, how little she was when y'all met her. For the first time. So yeah, some red, white, and blue stuff. So you see, it's just combinations. Here's some scrapey paint and you know, different tags and tabs, all different colors. Here's more of my photographs. Here's photographs of clouds that I've taken. Taking all these different cloud pictures. Oh, here's more. With the paint chips, of course. Lots of different cloud pictures. I know. So cute and little, right? What else do I have? Here's another one. 
so all different kinds of things, colors, feathers. This is a picture I took of a rusted door uh, lock in one of the uh, little towns around here. So, yeah, this is back when I took lots of pictures. Here's some of my uh, flowers for my garden. But I use, I'm using them for the color combination, right? All kinds of color combinations. Here's another one of my photographs. Uh, yeah, I'll just, here's where we started doing lettering, I mean, uh, uh, words. So we started doing words. Um, but anyway, just so you can, I'm just going to flip through here for a second so you can see all the different color combinations, right? More pictures. Uh, there's a picture of me at the lake some years ago. Little seeds. Put in an envelope here. What else? Just lots of color combinations. Here's a random brick door. I took that. You're in color heaven. Yes, you are in color heaven. This was an old challenge. This, these were these were some challenges. These were before I started streaming, I think. I was in some uh, uh, Yahoo groups. This was, was um, a collage group that I was in years ago. I mean, this had to be like 10 years. And I, we had to make up different stories. So this story I made up, okay, it's 2008, 10 years ago. I was thrilled to be the first to discover the city of lost snacks. <laughs> there was my there was my story. I think the prompt was snacks. You had to do a collage with uh, based on snacks. <laughs> so I was thrilled to be the one to the first one to discover the city of lost snacks. <laughs> <laughs> so I made them look like, you know, like, you know, like old mummy, you know, tomb vases and, oh my gosh, cheese bits, all kinds of old vases and things. <laughs> Hi, Miro. Miro in Poland. So anyway, there's just a bunch of stuff like that in this binder, okay? This is an old binder, guys. This is an old one with all kinds of just stuff thrown in there, it looks like. All right, so now my most recent one, I think. Okay. My most recent one. Actually, I've got four binders on my back table here. Let me see if I can find the one with the color comb. Ah, here it is. It's this one. All right. I'm never sure which ones are which. So here's one of my idea collecting notebooks. <clears throat> yeah. These are my Society of Idea Collecting Notebooks. And I think I put all my color stuff because it's really not something I keep in this notebook. But I put it all at the very beginning, I think. With the colors. Yeah. Okay. So it's at the very beginning here. Let me move my little trays of color for a minute. Might do another design seed thing here in a minute. <coughs> so again, this is something you can do to uh, keep your ideas, your color ideas. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Good to see everybody. Yeah, they might have been vases made out of saltines, but not remember. It's 10 years ago. Okay, so here's where we did this one in the last few months. This, uh, this, these mind maps. And so I just used, I'm pretty sure I used uh, markers. I think I just used uh, my Crayola Super Tips. Could I, I'm pretty sure it could be. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever. You use Crayola crayons. But make your basic colors like blue, okay, just plain old, you know, true blue. 
and then mind map out or list if you don't like to do the circling i like to do circle mind mapping because you can continue in out more and more and more and don't forget and i did put in here who what where why when and how uh and mary alta also uh, suggested why not that's one of the questions and uh, and that way you can keep questions in mind while you're doing different combinations. Now I have other lists in here of combinations, like I have pages full of transportation, people, places, countries, um, you know, any kind of thing you can think of to make a list. And I suggest guys, if you do these kind of things, these kind of lists, mind mapping, bullet journaling type list, try to make, try to find, think of as many as you can by yourself without Googling them. Because you can Google blue and you're going to find a thousand things, right? But try to use your own imagination first and see how many things you can come up with that are blue before you go and look a bunch of stuff up. And then you can add that. Like, here's the ones you might have thought up, your mind mapping ones. And then maybe over here, make another list of the ones that you find to suggest online. And then you can combine them. You can ask who, what, where, why, when, and how. You can, and why not. And uh, <laughs> and you will you will use your imagination, people. You know, the, hey, Janet. You will use your imagination to come up with more than just color combinations and ways to use your color combinations. Like I said, for instance, your color books. You just you can go on uh, Design Dash Seeds, look up a color combination, and go straight to your color book. You don't have to think at all, right? Other than maybe what do I want to use? You know, markers, pencils, whatever. <clears throat> okay, so blue. We had like, and I, I won't read all of them, but I'll pick out some of the highlights, like a bluebird, a butterfly, hydrangeas, the Twitter bird, blueberries, sky, a whale, water, sea glass, uh, the handicap sign, blue jeans, a cookie monster, the sapphire, a fish, bird eggs, you know, eyes. Anyway, so there's, and of course, every type of flower you could think of. Okay, then here's like yellow. And it's got a little got a little bright, but that's okay. So again, we've got extra over here, but like the minions, a canary, peeps, uh, beehives. And then from the bee, the hives, I went to pollinate, honeycomb, and you can expand out. And you can then move that if you want to, if, if bee, pollinate, hives, and honeycomb came to your mind, and then you have more ideas, make a new page and continue the mind mapping on a new page. Because it's going to get, you know, that's why I write so little. <laughs> get a lot on a page when you write little. Cheese, and that led me to grilled cheese. I must be hungry. Mustard, the sun, macaroni. And then mustard led me to hot dogs, picnics, barbecues. And then mustard was Colonel Mustard in the library. <laughs> Um, so you have those yellow roses, a hard hat, pineapples, the bell pepper, lemons, bananas, and then lemons can lead you to lemonade, summer, lemonade stands, chocoboo, rubber ducky, SpongeBob, the Simpsons, Pikachu. So you see all kinds of things. Yeah, corn on the cob. So then over here I have a haystack, emojis, measuring tape, Nat Geo magazine, a school bus, rain boots, egg yolk, and someone suggested beer. <laughs> And then here's different, the who, what, where, what, why, when, and how, and connecting. I think on this example, we picked a bee, minions, and cheese. Um, then orange. Then we got oranges and apricots, pumpkins, clownfish, candy corn, the monarch butterfly, traffic cone, orange juice, basketball, tiger lily flower, fall leaves, um, Fanta soda, goldfish crackers. You know, and we already did red a couple times. Pink, peppermint, pink lemonade, pig, an eraser, pink panther, a tutu, shells, flamingo. Oh, sorry, Eileen. Roses and all kinds of flowers that could be pink. Strawberry ice cream, frosting on donuts, cupcakes at a party. <laughs> Grapefruit, watermelon, bubble gum, candy hearts, lipstick, 1950s appliances. You see? 
purple, teal, green, um, lizards, emeralds, jade, eyes, Granny Smith apples, celery, lettuce, grapes, cucumber, pears, frogs, caterpillar, butterflies, that caterpillar turned into butterflies, lima bean, peas, sorry, Eileen, grapes, peppers, kiwi, avocado, limes, asparagus, hydrangeas, cactus, flowers, bushes, mermaids, parakeet, grass, leaves, seaweed. I said lizards. You see? <laughs> I mean, there's just so much, you know. Then here's dark green. Forest, ivy, moss, trees, jade, parrots, emeralds, broccoli, watermelon rinds, guacamole, grass, palm trees, spinach, Brussels sprouts, avocado, peas, pickles, olives, bugs, shamrocks, algae, crocodile, alligator, snakes, gray, uh, goose, flannel, cement. Cliff, stone, marble, statues, armadillos, hair, coins, metal, rainy days, squirrel, horse, seal, owl, feathers, mouse, rhino, cat, wolf, fish, bird, eel, hedgehog, metals, yeah, black. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, you just never, if you, and then you start combining things. Let's say you like black, yellow, and gray. Well, go to those three things and see what words you wrote down for black, gray, and yellow. Because you like those color combinations. And then start combining things. Then if you have other lists, like people, places, things, travel, transportation, cities. Uh, I mean, you can, you, you just, there's no end to combining different things. You can combine thousands of things. To make your stories, if you're a writer, um, an artist, uh, you know, whatever kind of medium you use, whether you paint landscapes, whether you paint, you know, whatever, you will not run out of ideas, but you have to write them down. And I, I have people all the time. I mean, not as much anymore because I know I'm going to fuss at them, but I, I can't tell you the times people go, I have no imagination. Well, have you written down the mind mapping? Have you done the color combination? No, I didn't do that. Did you write down a list of transportation? Did you write down a list of cities, countries, states, uh, territories, like forest, lakes, meadows? Have you done that? No. Have you written down all the foods you can think of? No. Hey, sorry. You're right. You have no imagination because you're not writing anything down. <laughs> Okay, uh, black knight, olives, shadows, stones, a vintage phone, dominoes. And then I started doing things that were black and white, like dominoes, sunglasses. Um, so I started doing black and white dominoes, piano key, soccer ball, zebra, dice, chess pieces, a panda, a nun, or a priest with their black and white. Um, cougars, snakes, cobras, hair, ink, ebony. Uh, dogs, horses, beetles and bugs, ravens and crows, bats and cats, uh, silhouettes. Then here's one with white. <laughs> you see? Uh, I free associate with my Well, you know, but it gets, the more you do it, the more it happens. You know, the more you do, you know, mind mapping, free association, writing, just write, 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 write. Don't think about it. Just write, write. Connect the, you know, connect, uh, make your mind map in a circle, connect it, make it bigger, bigger, bigger. You will, and then combine things. You know, here's everything that I have, well, not everything, but some things that are white. Clouds, an owl, a swan, mouse, wool, sheep, rabbit, cotton, a chicken, plastic, crystals, a snow tiger, fox, ice, dandelions, polar bear, water, and then from water into bubble, soap, clean. Paper, glass, windows, dishes, magnifying glass, mirror, crystal ball, vases, reflections, invisibility, angels, translucent, clear, diamonds, jewelry, rings, necklaces, bracelets, the moon, jellyfish, clouds. Now combine a couple of those things. Take, a, say, an angel that reflects a snow tiger. What if an angel's shadow was a snow tiger? So when we see a snow tiger, a snow tiger is actually a, an angel's reflection or an angel's shadow. 
You know, see, you can make a whole story up. Think of the kids would love this. Make your kids do this. Now, you know, you can't make, you know, probably make your teenager do it unless they're an artist, a writer or something like that. But little kids, if you tell, even if you have to do the writing for them, ask them, tell me everything you can think of that's white. They'll probably say, oh, the toilet paper and the Kleenex and, you know, the cat, you know. Well, what if you, we did it one time before we had a squirrel wrapped up in toilet paper and was our, it was our Halloween mummy for the year. A squirrel wrapped in toilet paper was our Halloween mummy uh, last year, the year before. <laughs> the rabbit trails are productive. Thanks. Thanks, Lynn. Then here's some peach color. You can do any color. I just did the main colors, you know, red, yellow, blue, orange, black, white, brown. You know, I just did the main colors. All right, so brown. I think I did light brown and dark brown. Did I do light brown, dark brown? Anyway, oh, no, I did light brown over here. So brown, brown topaz, tree bark, wood, dirt, dust, mud, acorn, deer, skin, hair, eyes, owl, beaver, sepia photos, caramel, potato, football, copper pennies, shoes, boots, furniture, gloves, coat, leather, paper, belt, coins. And then from there, I think I went from paper, went to cardboard, and then I think we went to corrugate. <laughs> Beans, nuts, cookies, coconuts, cow, squirrel, birds, dog, monkey, kangaroo, a bunny, bugs and spiders, horses, a violin, and other musical instruments, tea, coffee, chocolate, brown sugar. And then up here on the light brown, linseed oil, wheat, honey, basket, seahorse, sand, wood, lion, amber, bread, giraffe, donuts, herbs, gingerbread, pretzels, and seeds. Now, if you just pick three of these things out of location, throw in a person or an animal as the person. When I say a person, I mean anything living. You know, a person can be a bug if you, you know, Jiminy Cricket, you know what I mean? Um, so, and then I have all different lists. Here are compare and contrast ones. Okay, so here's another thing you can do. Take your combinations and do compare and contrast. Large and small, far and near, hot and cold, alive and dead, always and never, ancient and modern, questions and answer, apart, together, nice and mean, appear, disappear, positive, negative, addict, seller, up, down, back, front, good, bad, beginning, ending, start, stop, plural, singular, poverty, wealth, push, pull, quiet and loud, wet and dry, yes and no, bent and straight, top and bottom, calm and windy, deep and shallow, early and late, dusk and dawn, right and wrong, good and evil, empty and full, even and odd, exterior, interior, in, out, few, many, fat, thin, foolish, wise, friend, enemy, get, give, stop, go, happy, sad, scatter, collect, soft, hard, true, lie, um, win, lose, young, old, heavy, light, high, low, I'm going to skip some, valley, high, maximum, minimum, narrow, wide, old, young, open, close, optimist, pessimist, pessimist, war, peace, visible, invisible. You see, I just skimmed them. Those are, you know, compare and contrast. And then I got all different kinds of uh, ones. So here's my list, list topics. I think this was in a book of list topics. You can do an alphabet list, idea collect. Oh no, this was our mind mapping. Okay, here. And these are my these are my uh, condensed ones. So then what I do is I'll move them over to bigger lists and bigger topics. But I think some of these we did for uh, projects on our show to show you guys, you know, how you can do them. So people, you can make occupations, ethnicity and histories. Like, you know, different places like Asia, Asian, Scottish, African, Irish, you know, different places and ethnicities, character traits and emotions. So if you take your people and let's just say an occupation. And I did a lot of um, old like I like medieval times, too. So, you know, I kind of gravitate toward, you know, um, gravitate toward Leonardo da Vinci or something like that. Is anybody getting anything out of this? I don't know. It's just like a little bit more idea collecting, color combination, using design seed color combinations, whether you just go use them in a color book or whether you combine and write your own stories. If you don't, you know, nobody has to watch the recording. If y'all are bored, you can leave. <laughs> 
I'm trying to give y'all ideas on how to use your imagination and your creativity. Because I hear so many times, if y'all want, I'll pull out a few books on creativity. Well, maybe we'll do that too. We might as well just go full, full, full blown creativity today, right? <laughs> Started out with color combinations. Okay. All right. So like occupations. All right. And, and this is not every occupation, but I'm just going to give you an example. Merchant, traveler, explorer, inventor, monk, priest, nun, king, queen, royalty, a crafter, artist, builder, musician, sailor, hunter, farmer, gardener, protectors, watcher, horseman, dreamer, teacher, student, reporter, writer, healers, parents, uh, aborists, you know, um, tree, tree growers, herbalist, vet, printer, librarian, bookbinder, accountant, researcher, archaeologist, geologist, mathematician, map maker, banker. Well, with that map maker would be a card to talk, not a cardiologist. Oh, a cardiologist and a cartologist. A map maker for the heart. Ooh, wait. Cardiologist and a cartologist. I'm not sure how to spell that. Let's see. So you have a map maker heart. You could have a map in the heart of the heart. Or you could even have a heart shaped map. Map shaped like a heart. See, this is how I write things down. There we go. See, that's, there we go. <laughs> Continuing on. That one just came to me. Um, banker, vineyard, uh, fisherman, builder, carpenter, caretaker, cleaner. Um, a, I said burial, but, you know, a, a funeral person. <laughs> Engineer, soldier, iron worker, swordsmith, chef, uh, tailor of clothing, a designer, clother, clothing designer, leather worker, a tanner, uh, orchards, architect, groomer, mechanic, actor, sculptor, singer, stonemason, event planner, baker, cobbler, hairdresser, barber, uh, optometrist. Ooh, optometrist. More ideas rolling in there with the jeweler, the optometrist and the jeweler. Wait a minute. I got to write that down. Optometrist and the jeweler. Okay. Journalist, electrician, plumber, astronaut, realtor, photographer, philosopher, lawyer, scribe, policeman, soldier, firefighter, pilot, judge, politician, landscaper, driver, conductor, florist, pharmacist, comedian, magician, grocer, sport. And I just wrote sports. Like you can break that out to every kind of sport. Um, programmer. I already said geologist, shipbuilder, farmer, dentist, zookeeper, beekeeper, scuba diver, treasure hunter, makeup artist, clock and watchmaker, potter. Okay, so there's just some, these are just occupations. Now you can put that with, and I might have, let me see, do I have a place? I might have, let's keep going. I'm having fun now. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So the writer became a blacksmith to make sure his publicist would stop chewing eggs. <laughs> Write that stuff down, uh, Noodle. Character traits, different, that you can list all your virtues, qualities, uh, what are they? Are they happy, sad, you know, all the qual character traits, all the emotions, places. And see, I'm not even, this isn't a full list. This is, I can tell this is not, you know, these are just partial lists because I know I got pages of these other places. I think I redid this uh, for the show. So to travel cities, countries, what kind of buildings, and then what kind of architecture could be associated with those buildings, like doors, window, arches, ironwork, stonework, towers, a treehouse, a greenhouse, ruins, and bridges, uh, museums, restaurants, churches, libraries, schools, stores, list every kind of store and shop that you could think of, and I think I did that on something too, continents, businesses, homes, streets, townships, maps, um, the seasons, the weather, geography okay this is what i was saying like you're going to write a story use your colors and all you have to do is pick a person place and thing a person can be anything alive like i said it could be a bug jiminy cricket and then put him in either lake pond mountain jungle forest desert seas ocean rivers valleys cliffs hills sky space beach park swamp flatlands caves ruins paths roads streams earth 
earthquake, oh, um, lagoon, swamp, waterfall, bayou, geyser, marshes, moats, garden, islands, and horizon. I don't know. I wrote, you know, here's things. So here's the transportation. So when you think, uh, did I have hoarder? <laughs> no, but let's go back and put that on there. Where's our occupations? Hoarder. We'll write that. That's a good, that's a good, that's a story in itself. There's a whole TV show on that. I don't watch it because it freaks me out. But, uh, <laughs> but you know what freaks me out about the hoarders? It's not so much that they hoard things. It's the dirt. I, I, I can't take the dirt they live in. You know, if they had it all neat and organized and all their books in a library, it's the dirt I can't take. You know what I mean, Vern? Okay, so when you think of transportation, you might think, <laughs> I know, right, CB? Uh, when you think of transportation, you might just think of, um, you know, a plane, car, you know, a taxi, a boat, you know, a helicopter. Okay. Car, taxi, truck, and then think of every kind of truck, right? Subway, tractor, train, plane, ship, hot air balloon, a bicycle, skateboard, roller skates, or roller blades. Carts, horse-drawn carts, uh, riding on riding on horses or donkeys, animals, um, a camel, jeep, streetcar, bus, helicopter, motorcycle, jet, sky lift, submarine, sailboat, spaceship, ambulance, van, golf cart, a raft, snowmobile, trolley, monorail, camper, go-kart, fire truck, police car, scooter. <laughs> You know, and then here's things, tools and utensils, fashions and fabrics. Do you ever think about all the kinds of fabrics? Silk, satin, ruffles and ribbons and thread. Oh, my. Cotton and velvet and burlap and linen and twill. Tweed, leather, canvas, felt, fur, wool, lace. You know, and more things. All, list everything that's food and drink. List every event and, and holiday, every sport. Um, and then list things that are from, okay, so then go back to your, go back to your list of geography, like the lake, the ponds, the mountains. Now go back and list everything that you can think of that's associated with those things. List everything that's from the sea, from the forest, from the desert, you know, everything you know, that you can think of, like the shells, the coral, the sand, the wave, the jellyfish, starfish, sand dollar, mermaid. Sandcastle, octopus, and you know, you can see I'm not done on the, these. Like I said, these pages I think were done for a, a mind mapping show we did, so they're not my all my list. Um, then there's all kinds of combinations, uh, po point of view. Here's animals, animals, fish, reptiles, insects, birds, plants, flowers, trees, fruit, vegetables. Uh, every kind of things to do with geology, minerals, gems, metal. And I didn't do one here when we did the show for paper, every kind of paper. So, you know, these are just our brief. Here's actions. You can do adjectives. You can do, there's questions. Here's, oh, here's our Ustream group words. Okay, so we wrote down a bunch of words here in multi multiple lists here. We have multiple lists of mind mapping words where we combined different things and everybody I think was calling things out. And we would combine, here's inventions and discoveries. So I think that we made these lists and then what we did was randomly combine them. This was one of our fun days. So we made a list of 150, 160 things and then somebody would call out, all right, so Eileen or, Ju or Jean or whoever wants to give me three numbers between one and 160. Three numbers. Hey, Mark, and uh, happy birthday yesterday, today, tomorrow. Happy birthday, Mark. Okay, so Eileen said 13, 26, and 45. And then Jean said 5, 22, and what is that? Zeros, Jean? Is that supposed to be 100 or 10? <laughs> we'll say it's 100, Jean, because I think you forgot the one. Okay, so there's just, there's, uh, there's our right, Miro. I'll take Miro's too. So Miro said 87, 34, and 22. It's not supposed to be measurements. <laughs> Oh, it's supposed to be 99, Gene? Okay, 99. 
Okay. <laughs> you hit the zero, right? Okay. All right. So then what we did is we took these combinations. And again, we're kind of off the color topic, but hey, rabbit trail into another. We mind map the day. <laughs> Okay, we mind map the day. So these were lists of things that everybody just shouted out. I wrote them down, and we have a random, it was from Ustream, group words. Yeah. So, all right, so let's start with this one. Five, 22, and 99. Five is moss on a tree. I want y'all to think now. Think in your imagination. Things come to you. Write them down. Sharon, this is what screenshots are for. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed something. Your hand sore. Too. <laughs> okay. 22 is an owl. And 99 is a dragonfly. So if you don't know what to make a story, do a, do a, a painting, do a drawing, do just some doodles. If you just want to doodle, then take your combination. Now, remember over in our color combination... Take your color combinations, randomly pick three colors if you want, and then do and then consider moss on a tree, owl, and dragonfly. Maybe the dragonfly is on the owl's head with mossy, maybe the owl has mossy legs instead of fuzzy, uh, uh, feathery legs. Maybe he's got mossy legs. You see what I'm saying? Okay, the next one was 13, 26, and 45. 13 was a lotus flower. 26 is a cardinal, and 45 was a cactus, okay? A lotus flower, cardinal, and cactus. Again, you can make them any colors. A cardinal could be a red bird cardinal, or it could be a church cardinal, you know? I mean, you can do, you can do whatever you want. My graphic design teacher used to something like this. It's fun, isn't it, Jackie? Oh, I didn't make up mind mapping and listing. Trust me, the mind mapping and listing have been around for I don't even know how long. But you can reinvent it to fit, you know, your own ideas. Like I said, transportation, people, places, things. List every, can try to just try it sometime. Try to list everything that you can think of. And you're going to have to break it down into you know, maybe a room or a place or, a, you know. Okay, 87, 34, and 22. 87 is a frog. 34 is a rabbit. And 22 is the owl. So a rabbit, owl, and a frog. And you can make them any color. Don't have You don't have to have a green. What if you uh, combine them? What if you had a frog with feathers. Now we've done this stuff on our show guys on the scrolls, right? Oh, and the speaking of scrolls, I found the bat again. Hang on. Remember when we did the scroll last whatever day we did it and we couldn't find pug uh we couldn't found, find count pugula. I found count pugula. <laughs> So here's Count Pugula, and uh, there's where we did kind of his name over here. So these are the kind of things you come up with, people. These are the kind of things you come up with when you have these mind mapping, listing, combination ideas. <laughs> so yeah, there's Count Pugula with his glittery stickles. We put a little bit of red stickle in his eyes and he's just bit somebody. So you can barely see his fangs there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So anyway, um, so you can do funny combinations or even they don't even have to be odd combinations. You just want a story or you just want to, you know, paint or draw or doodle inktober something, you know, odd. Uh, Thanks, Nero. You like his eyes? <laughs> so, you know, make you just a random list of any and anything. It can be a combination of, you know, animals, things. I, I think this one was all things. But you could do places. So if you do a combination, person, place, thing, and the person is anything alive. 
like it can be a bug, you know, anything living is, I just consider a person. A place can be any place in the world, but it can also be buildings, you know, some of the things we talked about here. And things can be literally anything. And you combine a person, a place, and a thing, and a couple of colors, and, and go for it. And it doesn't have to be a masterpiece. This is just a huge notebook that I keep ideas in. And then you will, I'm telling you people, I'm going to just keep that in here because I know next time I pull this out, we're going to want to uh, talk about the same things all over again. <laughs> yeah, Count Pugula and Chug the Pug and Trick or Treat together. <laughs> okay, so anyway, oh, here's more words and more lists. Um, so anyway, and then some notes from a couple of books. Oh, that's the other thing we're going to do. We're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about some creativity books. Would y'all like to do that, or are y'all ready to go? I mean, it's totally up to y'all, guys. It's Friday. You know, I don't have nothing else to do today. I usually have things to do on Friday. Today, I'm free. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so here's and again, I just made a little rag flag paper clip things to make it pretty. I got all kinds of tabs color tabs for different things and I have multiple notebooks for different things I have different ones for history I have different ones for research you know um okay so and of course my mods I appreciate y'all here anytime you can be here but never feel obligated to stay you got things to do I got things we all got things to do do not feel like you have to be here I never put pressure on my mods Okay. What was I going to do? <laughs> Got so many piles here. Oh, books. All right. So let me just move some of the paints now. Since we've kind of veered from the watercolors. Sorry, Jean. Not that you need any help with them, but yeah. You know. But again, guys, color combination design-seeds.com. Let me show you one more the example we had a minute ago. So here we had peach, pink, or coral and salmon, and an olive green. So if you go to Design Seeds, people, you will find tons of color combination. Write some down. Write a lot of them down, or color, swatch them down, I should say. Even if you swatch them, look, let me just do one little example. And I'm going to break my rule and use my sniffables. These are my sniffable set. But... just to show you <laughs> okay so we have an olive green I could have even done that a darker you can even combine you can layer an olive green a kind of a is that a let's see I'm gonna have this salmon color and the other one's just a little darker pink let's see So you can make color combinations because you don't necessarily have to know which uh, Crayola it was. It's the color. You can use, um, you can use uh, what do you call it, uh, neo colors. You can use, you know, anything. Then a light pink. I can just light, do a light pink. And a gray. I don't want silver. I want gray. Oh, sorry, it's a little, but anyway, you can see. So it's the idea. And then when you go to use your materials, whether it's acrylic paint, whether it's your watercolors, your neo colors, your markers, whatever materials you're using, you can do this darker. You can do it more saturated. You can do it pat, very pastel. You know, you can do the co the combinations of these colors more saturated, more muted, more, you know, more uh, jewel tones. So, okay. So let's, let me give you a few books on some ideas. Um, and I'll have to kind of go back and forth to my shelves over here. 
All right, here's a, this is a, here's two right here. Let's see. Um, and I do have some of the new art books. Like, um, all right, this one, I showed this one kind of recently. Think Like an Artist. Uh, I did finish reading this. I have I have not gone back through, see all my notes that I want to write down. Uh, I tabbed every place that I wanted to write a note about. So I need to go back to this book, go to all my tabs, write those down, either, even if it's just on a post-it note, and put it in my idea notebooks. But this is awesome. Think Like an Artist and Lead a More Creative Productive Life. Will gone Percy. This is where I need my am. I need to have an Amazon affiliate uh, because I show so many books. But anyway, um, it and it and it goes through different artists throughout history and talks about their creative processes. Uh, and I've read some of these. I'll just I'll just review them. I mean, I know that some of these we we've, we've talked about not too long uh, ago, but. I'm going to just kind of do this a little bit of, on creativity. So since we moved into that direction, artists are enterprising. And then they give uh, ex examples. They talk about like Andy Warhol and Vincent Van Gogh. I'm just going to skip around. Artists don't fail. Uh, Lichtenstein. Artists are seriously curious. And there's like three, two, three or four different artists for each one. Artists steal. Picasso. Artists are skeptics. J.J. Abrams. Uh, artists think big picture and fine detail. Vermeer. Uh, artists have a point of view. And then, you know, it's just Rembrandt. Artists are brave. Uh, artists pause for thought. Uh, all schools should be art schools. A final thought. And so anyway, and it gives, they, they use the example of the, those particular artists' life. And, uh, okay, where's, okay, my, is that making a, yeah, my, there's a shadow there from my. My and by the way, here again, let's let's look at blue again. <laughs> or as we're gonna say, Mike, 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 Mike. Okay, so anyway, I'm kind of keep it a little farther away because I talk loud. So think like an artist. There's different ones like this one. I've had a while. If you like to write and and th to me, this, these kind of things are great for list making, idea collecting, and um, drawing and writing or, and I've given so many of my good writing books to Cam. So I don't have a lot of my good writing books. I've probably given him my top 10, uh, writing books. Uh, but this one is awesome because it's visual, uh, 400 exercises to liberate your writing. And it's called the right brain workbook. And I did put a, I did have, where's my phone? I did show a picture, a stack. I did did a stack out uh, and post it on Instagram. Let me go back to my stack and I'll tell you the books that, because we, we won't get to all the books today that I want to show, but I'll tell you these. Okay. So I posted this on Instagram here and uh, I'll tell you some of the ones. Like I posted the collage idea book, uh, random illustrated facts, steal like an artist. I'm just giving you titles, not the author, but they're all, you know, you can see most of them. Think like an artist, illustration, something, uh, forget, that's by Jamie Zollers. Creative Quest by Questlove. Uh, the Flow Books, the Flow Drawing Books, The Flow, a book that takes its time. Uh, the Journal Sparks, we gave one of those away a couple months ago. A Hundred Days of Lettering. Uh, if you can doodle, you can paint, I think. And this Right Brain one was one of the ones. Um, I just decided on this afternoon's job, once DD is finished, I need to go through all my bookmarks on my computer and sort them and delete some. There you go, Jean, getting organized. I love organizing. I love, I mean, that's one of the things I love about planners. I don't do planners per se, like the planner community, but I love planners. Y'all know. <laughs> I love, um, let me show you a few here. Hang on. I'll just pick two of them here. But I got multiple travelers. There's some more of those. Well, I'll just put, pick two off, off my shelf. So I have these two travelers journals. I did take the rag flags. I had a bunch of rag flags in them. And I did take those out. But um, Traveler's Journals are great for idea collecting. So uh, I don't do planning, 
but I love organizing and planning. And, you know, some days just coming into your room, your space, your desk, organizing it will give you creative sparks. Something about organizing your stuff. Uh, no, it's not. It's probably, probably a couple weeks ago, Karen, on my in, on my IG. Yeah. Okay. 400 exercises. And what this is, it's visual and um, visual and you write and it is prompts. So you have all kinds of prompts, but it's visual. And, and the other one that I had like this one I gave to Cam and I don't have it in front of me, the name, but there's a couple different ones out there like this that have prompts, writing prompts, and um, the one I'm reading now, I have another new one. I haven't even shown it to you guys yet. It's in the other room. It's in my bedroom. I'll have to go get it. But like states of mind. Let's see what this one says. Use the map shape if you choose. Finish the story. Start with, and here's what you start with. I was in a California state of mind yet stuck on a farm in, in Iowa. And then you start writing a story. The next step after that, so you just write here, write right over the map. The next step, state of fear that keeps you from writing your personal truth. Let go of the fear a little bit every time you write. Don't jump off the high wire without a net. Take it nice and easy by simply letting go a little more fear with each writing session. So you see what I'm saying? It's kind of prompts and, and ideas and writing and, 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 you know, you can doodle in this. You could, you know, write picky, picky, finish the story, start with a pickpocket gingerly, and then you write a story from take the next step from among all the possibilities, pick one goal you'd like to work toward in your writing tomorrow. First thing in the morning, do it. You'll feel great all day. And so, you know, it's just writing prompts. But as an artist, the visual part, Monster Mash. Use the words as you get to them. So there's lines here. And as you're writing, monsters don't mash, bash, dash, gash. And see, all these words are like interspersed. So you you write them, you know, write and in, integrate them into your story. Gray matter. Finish the story. Start with. It's the gray areas that. Da, 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 you know, and so they're just all kinds. But the it's eye candy along with it, and this is just a great way to. Personally, I think I like writing on my own notes, notebooks, and things in my own paper with my own non, because I like non-lined paper. Um, but, you know, if you want to write in the book, it's you can write in the book or you can write on in the Travelers or whatever. Um, Tinker Toys, a handbook of creative thinking techniques. Michael Michalako, Um, and he's got a couple different books out. And I haven't seen him around lately, but I think he's on Facebook, Twitter. Of course, if you don't follow people on Facebook and like go watch whatever they're doing every day, they get lost in the in the shuffle, so to speak. So again, I've got things bookmarked. See, I've got all kinds of tabs and things that I'm working through on this one. Let's just cut, cover a little bit. Is this is this interesting to you guys? I mean, if it's not, you know, it's not. I understand writing and thinking. Thinking's not for everyone. <laughs> oh my God, sorry, I couldn't resist. Okay, so there's all different kinds of things like uh, original spin, mind pumping, challenges, tinker toys, linear thinking, tinker toys. Um, and it's kind of hard to explain because he's just, it, he breaks things out very, very detailed. And so you really have to kind of think, you have to kind of start this one from the beginning. Well, thinking gets more difficult with the age. No, Jean. Uh, let's see. Does he have some, oh, here's some, here's some of his mind mapping. So let's see what he does with mind mapping. 
because you know mind mapping there's tons and tons of them if you go google go pinterest go pinterest or google mind mapping you will find a hundred different kinds of mind mapping the ones we do here are to me the most simplified of mind mappings they're just very simplified Oh, I know, Jean. I know. I just got my coffee, but I'm ready to get ready to be ready to be ready to think. Okay, good leather. Jay Day staff. Okay. So let's see what he's talking about here. Okay. So, and some of this, I got to say, uh, this one and the other one I have is more um, based toward business, business creativity. This one, the Doodle Revolution, Sunny Brown. This, they're, they're, they're geared more toward um business applications but um did you make coffee I turn it okay yeah i can turn it on i'm still drinking my juice oh, okay it's looking up uh, oh thanks honey All right, I'll turn it on. Okay. How are you an R2D2? <laughs> R2, R2D2 and I are doing fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, like, for instance, here, I'm not even sure what's going on in this particular mind map, but he's talking about marketing, consulting services, and he's just got out who to target, clients, non-clients, and direct mail, you know, just different. This is more business applications. But there's just all kinds of things. Um, okay, here's a, a checklist of idea spurring questions. Okay, look, I have this one tab. It's called Scamper. S C A M P E R. S. Substitute something. C. Combine it with something else. A. Adapt something to it. M. Modify or magnify it. P, put it to some other use. E, eliminate something. R, reverse or rearrange. So that's SCAMPER, an acronym for, for those things. And then there's just all different kind of, you know, um, prod your imagination with the SCAMPER questions and then continue asking how can, what else, how else. If you do this, and now I'm going to pull this book out and read it over the weekend again. <laughs> got to read it. Now it's got me all hooked back in. If you do this for each stage of the, oh, now see, he's talking about selling here because, you know, business applications, you will generate the maximum number of ideas for improving your selling techniques. Suppose a paperclip manufacturer wants to improve his product. He would start by looking for ideas by asking, what can be substituted in the clip? And, I mean, just think of uh, our little rag flags, our little paper clips with the little ribbons on them. What can I combine the clip with to make it something else? What can I adapt to the clip? How can I modify the clip? What can I magnify or add to the clip? What other uses can I find for the clip? What can be eliminated from the clip? What is the reverse of clipping? What arrangement of the clip might be better? You see how the questions, it's all about the question. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So anyway, I'm going to leave this one out because, and then it gets into the scamper, more like the substitute, combine, adapt, modify, magnify, put to other uses, eliminate or um, minify, rearrange. Asking scamper questions, and then each one, each of the uh, each one of the letters of scamper is broke out into a subcategory, subchapter. Adapt to become an expert in adaptation. Ask what else is like this. What other idea does this suggest? Does the past offer a parallel? What could I copy? Whom could I emulate? What idea could I incorporate? What other process could be adapted? What else could be adapted? What different context can I put my concept in? What ideas outside of my field can I, field can I incorporate? I mean, I just, I love this stuff. This is just like, this is my, this is my alley, people. This is right up. This is my alley. <laughs> And Doodle Revolution, um, this this uses talks about using doodles, but it's this one is very much geared toward um, 
I don't want to say the office, but you know, uh, it's it's got it's got tons of things, and then this one's geared more toward the artist. Okay, uh, this one's geared more toward the writer, and this one's geared toward the thinker. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna go in the other room because I have one in, in that I'm reading now. Let me go get that one. The little babies want to come in. I'll leave the door open and see if they want to come in because I'm not doing anything that paint can smear or anything because they're going to come right up on here. Okay, this one is really awesome, people. Wait for it. Wait for it. Let me move these because I want to read this again. I'm reading. I'm reading this one now. <laughs> um, you're going to come up. Oh, I got a whole stack of collage stuff I was going to do today too. Oh, so many projects, so little time. Okay, this one. I just happened to come across in the, I thought it was in the reference section. If y'all just only go to the art section or the craft section or the magazine section, go to the children's section, go to the reference section, go to the writing section of the bookstore, and you'll find so many awesome books. I always get people ask me, where did you find that awesome book? Well, it's over in the reference section. The reference section. Yeah, the reference section. Okay, come up here. Come here. Come here, Oliver. These little butts right here. Come over here. Come on up under the camera. There he is. You want to lay down right here? He sees. He sees the. He sees the red light on the, on the uh, snowball. No, you don't need. Don't lick it. Don't lick it. Let's just sit right here. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, lay down, big guy. Let me pet you for a minute. So anyway, I came to this book. <laughs> No, he's he's awesome. He's got sleepy in his eyes. He's got sleepy in your eyes. Need to get a little damp tissue and get the sleepy out of your eyes. And there's his sister. And they this is their favorite toy in here. This. They love this. Okay. <laughs> um Malibu will take this and carry it downstairs and out of the room and she'll she'll chase it. <laughs> she'll chase my uh, drafting brush. Here she comes. Do you see it too? She has literally taken it away from Oliver. You want to come over here and say hi? Come on. Come on in here. Come on. So there's the, the twins. Here are the twins. They've really grown. They're almost, uh, he's still a little bigger than her, but her tail's not as fluffy. Her, her tail, there's her tail. His tail's twice as fluffy. So, see how he loves that thing? They love that thing. All right, watch my juice now. Don't knock that over. <laughs> I know, they're awesome, aren't they? <laughs> they are just so awesome. We love them. We call them the children, of course. How are the children doing this morning? <laughs> I know you looked at me when I said that. How are the children doing? Ah, no, be nice. I know you're frisky with that thing. I like to wrestle with them. Oh, here, I'll show you a little video. If it'll show. And then I got one, I got this other book to show y'all. I know. <laughs> Let me show you this video I took of me wrestle. Well, Hubster took the video while I was wrestling with them because they like to wrestle. Um, he likes to wrestle in the blankets. She likes to chase her mouse. Where's that video? Did I save it? Ah, uh, no, don't bat the camera, silly boy. No, no, no. Don't bat the camera. All right, let's see. Here, okay, let's see. All right. Here's in the blanket. He likes to wrestle. Wrestlemania. See, he loves Wrestlemania. It. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So here's the book I was talking about. You want this on the floor? You want this on the floor? No. 
<laughs> it's got picked up. Okay, so this book, you want mama's hand? Oh, you want me to pet you? Okay. You reached for my hand. No, you can't have the snowball. Can't have that. Sorry, guys. Cat, cat sidetrack. Instead of a rabbit trail, we went, we went down the cat trail. <laughs> you call the double eye gals. <laughs> there you go. He's going down there. Sister's hiding behind a piece of paper. Okay. Do you want the. Oh, she's running after him. Okay. So I think they're going to go play. Okay. So back to the book. Sorry. Cat. We went down a cat trail. Oh, Jean, I know you miss Paws and, and um, oh, why can't I think of their name? Paws and Presto. Paws and Presto. So this book I came across in the reference section, and OMG, I said, I don't care if it was $24.99. Of course, I had a coupon, and I have my discount, but still. This book is amazing. All right, let me zoom in. Let's do a zoom action here. This book, and now that might, no, if I do that too much, I, I might get us too pixelated. I don't want us to pixel. Okay. Wonder book. Apparently this is the revised and expanded edition. I did not see the original edition. So it was all new to me. The illustrated guide to creating imaginative fiction. Jeff Vandermeer, author, New York Times bestselling, Southern Reach Trilogy. Eye candy, people. Eye candy. I know. Oh, Jade, yes. You will, Steph, you'll like this. And well, I'm going to take a little, we'll take a little book tour. Take a little. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Enlightening, entertaining, unique. The world's first fully illustrated creative writing book now with more than 50 new pages contributors include george rr R. martin y'all know uh game of thrones lev grossman neil gaiman katherine valentine uh, Va <coughs> valenti <coughs> hang on guys sip of juice got a tickle in my throat Karen Joy Fowler, Ursula again. <coughs> Theo Ellsworth, Kim Stanley Robinson, Peter Straub, and, uh, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it, the last name. Okorotifor. Uh, uh. Anyway, awesome contributors to the book. Wonder Book is packed with more than 300 original drawings, illustrations, and pictorial exercises to stimulate your imagination and expand the reaches of your creative creativity. Special new features include an Annihilation Book to film and the White Deer Terror Project, a complete environmental writing module. So there's lots of lessons, lots of... Um, assignments lots of assignments you have to do in this book but wait till you see it ready wait for it wait for it are y'all with the tour <laughs> wonder book an illustrated guide to creating imaginative fiction if i did not read one single page i would buy this just for the, the illustration and the book is all 100 percent glossy paper and it weighs like five pounds well not quite it doesn't look that big but because it's all gloss te glossy text paper it's very heavy it's a big heavy book okay all right table of contents See, this is why I should have an Amazon affiliate. Introduction, welcome, unique features, organization and approach, your guides, and it gives little symbols to guide you through the fiction. Um, typology of discovery, inspiration. I'm just kind of, I don't really want to read everything because there's a lot. 
Chapter one is the inspiration and the creative life, the importance of imaginative play, the fantastical and imaginative, uh, imaginative outputs. Um, I'm going to skip down. Then the ecosystem of story, narrative life forms, the element of fiction, a closer look at some of the elements, point of view, dialogue, description, and style, the greater and lesser mysteries, a complex relationship between story elements. See, look, it's, it's like a textbook. It's like a beautified textbook. I'm telling you. Chapter three, beginning and endings, you know, all the different um, uh, stages of writing a story, narrative design, characterization. And I really, I mean, just so much. Uh, word, world building, uh, like the world view versus story view, language and world building, characterization of a, a well-realized setting, and etc. Revisions, the workshop appendix. So you got all these workshop things you got to do. Amazon affiliate is easy to get, but you might need to give Eileen and Terry a cut. <laughs> yeah, I just haven't done it yet. Well, see, my Amazon, here's my, my main thing that I have to really think about or fix or work on. Uh, my Amazon is under Hubster's name and his email and everything. So, you know, I, I either need to start another Amazon account that's just mine or change the name of his, which he says fine. But I don't know. Can you change the name of your Amazon account? Can you change your Amazon account name and email, or do you just need to start another one? I don't know. Hiya, Sarah. We Sarah. I'm just seeing if anybody mine's mine is too, but I got the link with that account. Yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. Do I need to start a new account? Do I because I've got so many purchases under our it's you know, it's our joint account, but it's all under his name and his. Um, his, you know, I wanted to undermine it, but I just have one account. Okay, so I can change the name and the email on the account we already have, Jean. <laughs> he doesn't care about it. He doesn't care what name it's in, whose email, as long as he can purchase on it, he doesn't care. But for the purpose of uh, us here, you know, and, and, you know, using it for us, the art group, I'd want it to be in my name. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Thanks, Jean. Okay. Mm -mm. Let's just look at this beauty. I'm not going to do a lot of reading, but I want y'all to see the beauty of this book. Oh my gosh. Here are the guides. Look, they have Mr. Odd, Little Aliens, Devil's Advocate, All Seen Pen Eye, P E N, Pen Eye, Webinator. So that's anything has to do with the web. This has to do with, I serve one specific purpose. Flagging, if you're in need of extra stimuli. The Devil's Advocate, I'll give you a different point of view. Little Aliens, I'm just breaking it down kind of quick here. Uh, we're the practical ones, although sometimes we might just be taking a break and goofing off. Most of the time, we help explain the nuts and bolts of a concept or a term. So when you see these symbols throughout the book, then that's what they mean. Mr. Odd, think of me as that eccentric aunt or uncle who always makes a spectacular entrance at family gatherings and can never quite tell you what line of work they're in. But what when you really listen, you find that they have interesting anecdotes and information to share. I'll be there to show you something useful, flamboyantly, mysteriously. Oh, and my gun, it's a water pistol. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of the um, the one by, uh, oh, I'm sitting on my foot. This one here. Um, it kind of reminds me of the trickster's hat by Nick Bantoff, where he takes you the, uh, the a mischievous apprenticeship in creativity. Y'all remember this one that has little projects and prompts and things to do. We try to do some of these on the air, but they're quite long. Some of them take hours or you got to wait days for things to dry or something. But Nick Bantoff, this is really good too. Speaking of creativity books. So, and then there's little sidebars, literally sidebars of information uh, along the side. But, oh my gosh. And then it has different artist profiles. Like this one is Samuel Delaney's workspace as documented by Kyle Cassidy in April 2009. Look at that. 
Don't you just want to have him as your BFF? That's my new BFF right there. <laughs> right? Is that everybody's BFF here in the art community? <laughs> the importance of imaginative play. And then there's all kinds of like notes, writing, I mean, uh, illustrations, the fantastical and the imaginative. If you've ever uh, studied any calligraphy, uh, anamorphia. And uh, if y'all know the, this, uh, oh, what's the name of this book? This is supposed to have a secret uh, map in it. I uh, forget the name of it now. Uh, the codex. What's the name of it? Uh, I forget the name of it. But anyway, it was an ancient book found in a, in a monk's trunk or something. Um, I, I've read about it years ago. We're our art. Oh, <laughs> we're the art BFFs. Yeah, here's inspiration like curiosity, recept, um, receptivity, receptivity, passion, immediacy, distance, endurance, discipline, patience, friends, family, upbringing, politics, spirituality, and different, you know, little, I don't know, uh, charts. So anyway, I love this book. I mean, look, inspiration inputs, family, environment, personal experience, religion, research, luck, chance, other, others, and text. I mean, it's just, oh, the book is just beautiful. The book is just so beautiful. The whole book, there's a whole article on writer's block. But look, they just got little things like, look at that little cute little bat right there. Welcome back, Lynette. I am in love with this book. I mean, as soon as I picked it up and it was so weighty and hefty. Oh. Chapter two, the ecosystem of story. And then here's all the different types of story. A poem, flash fiction, short story, no, no, um, novelette, novella, novel, and all the different, you know, breakdowns of the different look. Okay, let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment here. If you've ever liked like 50s, 60s, and 70s sci-fi illustrations, oh, just give me a moment, people. I, I, I kind of just lost my breath for a minute. I just kind of, my breath was just taken away for a moment. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. I know, right? <laughs> you understand? Okay, then a closer look at some of the elements. Here are the elements. Characterization, point of view, setting, event situation, dialogue, description, style. And then a closer look at each one of those. And then, you know, they just have little uh, writer's um, profiles, dialogue and action. Thoughts on exposition by Kim Stanley Robinson. All just all kinds. Writing here's so here's like a little writing challenge. So look at the artwork in this. I know people. I know, right? I'm telling you. Let's just see what this um, writing challenge is. I'm losing my voice, so we'll have to go in a few minutes. <laughs> You're gonna want to go buy this book. I know you guys. Writing challenge. The artist Scott in Eagle used many different approaches to style in creating the piece of the piece of art above. The cut apart work of masters like Bruegel forms a collage of a city. A photograph of irregular stone resembles a street. He also painted part of the image, including the flames in the background. E Eagle then painted over the collage parts. See, I love it. You know, it's, it's got my style here, people. Oh, my gosh. Um, then he painted over the collage parts taken from other paintings and made the light fall consistently. The result has cohesion and an oddly consistent texture, despite the disparate elements he brought together. For this exercise, choose. I uh, see. I don't even I don't even need to do that. I don't even want to read that. I don't even want to. I mean, that's just so perfect. For this exercise, choose a subject. For example, mushrooms or 
dive bars and gather materials related to that subject from at least four different text, text sources written in diverse styles and or points of view, including essays and short, short stories. Identify the parts of each that could be used to create a two or three paragraph passage or description. Then collage those parts together without changing the words. Keep it as many of the original words as is feasible. Rewrite the passage to smooth out any clang in tone, mood, or texture. Finally, rewrite the passage again to reflect not just your style, but also the point of view of a character who may bring their own style to the description. See, for me, I would just do this all visually. <laughs> you know, I would do this, I would do this project with, you know, collage, just totally collage. But that, that was a writing challenge. So let me kind of put this down again. Approach to style. But oh my gosh, the book is just so let me tell you how many pages is in the book. Are they numbered? Are the pages numbered? Do we not have page numbers? We don't have page. Oh, here we go. 345. Let's see. Some of the last ones are not numbered. It was probably about 350, about 350 pages. And I know I'm pixelating a little there, guys. The complex relationship between story elements. Here's Ursula Legan's little call or little article. I think she just passed away. She has passed away not long ago. Life a life cycle of a story, imagination, beginning, rough draft, and it goes through the whole thing. They use little monsters. They use little, like, monster tadpole-type things. Little bats, beginning and ending. I mean, just the little illustrations. Beginning with Mr. Odd. So, see, he's got all different kinds of little... I'm telling you, if you're a writer, illustrator, creative, this book. Oh, my gosh, just look at this. Look, here's the lure, the prologue, the reader, scene one, the POV, the point of view, complication, subplot, subplot context, beginning, body, end. I mean, isn't that just, I mean, look at that. <laughs> Here's Neil Gaiman. I should just flip. Doors to Narrative. Is this, does anybody else think this is an awesome book or is it just me? I mean, I, I mean, if, oh, this would, this would be one to take on a, an island if you were stranded. Bye, Button. And just so many uh, writer profiles throughout. And just, mm, 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 mm. isn't it awesome, Stephanie? Life is not a plot. No line is ever ended. <laughs> plot devices. I mean, it's just like a, it's like a writer's textbook. I'm telling you, it's a writer's textbook that's illustrated to the, to the nth degree. Just oh, so much, so much in it. Intercutting scenes. Charts, graphs, mind mapping. I mean, I've not even begun to read all this. I've, I've read some of the artist profiles. And of course, I always do overviews. I always read table contents. I like bibliographies. I like to... You know, I like to read the bones of the book and then then uh, parse it out by the subject matter. And they say you don't have to start at the beginning of this. You can, you know, but it, it, it kind of, if you want to kind of follow, the, then here's some of the, um, the writing exercises. Well, you know, she wants to be a writer. How old is, how old is she, Vanessa? You yeah, just left to work meeting and I'm three nine. Well, hi, Melinda. We're getting ready to leave here in a minute. But I wanted to show y'all some of the books I have on creativity, writing mostly, mostly writing, but um, mind mapping. 
idea collecting. And the beginning of the show today, if you're just joining us or came in late, see um, uh, Game of Thrones uh, author, um, what do you call it? Uh, profile, um, profile on him. I haven't read any of the Game of Thrones. Um, and I haven't watched any of the uh, the TV series. And the reason is, is because until I read the books, because books are always better than the shows. Until I read the books, I don't want to see the show. I don't want to be, I don't want my vision, my, imagina my imaginative pictures of what goes on in the book to be spoiled by um, before I watch any of the show. I, hang on. Hang on, Lynn. Hang on. Almost done. Look. So, oh my gosh, there's just so much to it. I mean, look at the back cover. That's the inside cover there. Okay. Wonder Book. The Illustrated Guide to Create Imaginative Fiction. Revised and expanded. This is like the second, you know, second uh, revision. And it's got like an extra, I don't know how many did they say, pages. I guess it came out in 2013. And then it's revised with another couple hundred, I don't know, a couple hundred illustrations or something, but it's revised. So, yeah. Um, yeah, no, because I want to, Cameron, my you know grandson Cameron, he's reading them all. I don't know, maybe he's read them all by now. But he's he's been collecting a certain, and this is just how he rolls. He, just like his Harry Potters, he liked to read them. He read them all in hardback, then he read them in paperback. And now he's reading the Game of Thrones <clears throat> in a certain there's you know there's different version not versions but different um, different publications the small ones the big hardback ones paperbacks anyway he's picky about reading all his books in a certain certain format <laughs> that's hard to explain and uh, he does not like I mean we got him a Nook one year when he was probably about ten because he loved to read so much. And he literally, like, he couldn't take it. He said, I can't do it. I can't betray the books. I can't betray the hard, the, the physical books and go to digital. So he gave, his, he gave his nook to his aunt or somebody, I forget. He can't, he said he couldn't betray his books. <laughs> hey, Dolores. Bye, Tracy. Thanks again so much for the for the um, for the uh, super chat, Tracy. Thank you so much, and thank you. Sammy's probably already gone, but thank you both, Tracys, Tracy Klein and uh, Tracy um, uh, Tracy C. <laughs> thank you, guys. You get Cam's attitude the same way, yeah. And I, I mean, here's the thing: what I would will probably gear gravitate more toward. I will be gravitating more toward um, digital, like reading Nook or um, uh, what's the other one, uh, because uh, of the of the smallness of the print, the type. Um, it's it's hard for me to read small type. So that is one of the great benefits I see of Nooks and um, what's the other one called? Oh, um, the other reader. Nook and um, I got them both and I can't even think of it. Yeah, I like to do that. I love a heart. I love a Kindle. Thank you. Nook or Kindle. Um, the thing that is, it, it's the, it's the tininess of the type that prevails in so many or permeates so many uh, hard, you know, physical books uh, so I came up with another book to show y'all hang on so I always check the uh, sale books at books a million and Barnes and Noble and I don't really have a used bookstore anymore in my cl close to me but um, so I came across this YA book and it's three volumes in one. It's called The Order of Darkness and volumes one through three. And I went, oh, my gosh, I'd love to read that. But I know as soon as I pick it up, 
the type is going to be so tiny. Well, because it's a YA book, look how big the type is. It was like, oh, I can read that. <laughs> Yeah, I I use a Kindle. I use to have I have a Nook, but I also have the Nook app, so I can read it. Um, I can read it on the iPad. I can read it on my phone, but that's a little tricky too, you know, moving it, you know, moving it around. But anyway, so this is the size type I like. Is you know something that's this big? So I got this book because it was five dollars, three volumes, five dollars. I said, hey, hey. I'll read you the back. The year is 1460 and all signs point to it being the end of the world. Accused of heresy and expelled from the monastery. And see, I love medieval. Have y'all ever read Cadfell? Oh my gosh. If you've never read a Cadfell, Ellis Peters Cadfell from the, I guess the 80s maybe. I think it's there from the 80s. And then of course they made a Jack, a Jack of B, uh, what's his name? Jack, uh, you know, they, the actor. They made a BBC um series out of it cad fail. um but anyway the books and oh my gosh after i read all her books it was like oh my gosh there's no more there's no more i've read every one i don't know how many there are 15 18 20 i don't remember how many because it's been years since i read them and after i read them all i thought there's no more cad fail. i've read them all and this was like I probably read them in the nineties. They were put out in the eighties. And I said, it's, she's dead. There's not going to be any more. Ellis Peter, you know, there's not going to be any more cat fell mysteries. So it's like, Oh my gosh, over the last two and a half years since started audio. See, and I still haven't done the audio book thing, Jean. I haven't done that yet. I'd probably walk more if I had audio books <laughs> plugged into my ears, you know? Okay. The year is 1460 and all signs point to the, uh, it being the end of the world. Accused of heresy and expelled from the monastery, Luca Vero is recruited by a mysterious stranger to record the end of days, triggered by the fall of Constantinople. His first mission takes him to a nunnery where the women are showing terrible signs of possession under an imprisoned lady abbess. Is, is, old, is old? Anyway, however you want to pronounce her name. Thrown together by danger, Luca and his true friend Freeze and Isold, I'm going to have to make up a name for her, and her companion Ishrak face the, and I'm sure as you can pronounce it something more uh, fancy, like it's Ishrak is how it's spelled, Because, and I'm very phonetically uh, inclined. I read everything very phonetically, but it could be Ishrak, Ishrak, you know, you know, you can... <laughs> Face the darkest fear of med medieval Europe as they uncover the secrets of the order of darkness, racing to stay ahead of the end of the world. Dive deep into the world of medieval legends and fears and disentangle reality from terror. Read the first three books in the Order of Darkness series from internationally renowned author and historical fiction, Philippa Gregory. So I got it for five bucks, three volumes, and it's I can read it. <laughs> So anyway, we'll see how these three volumes go. Because I don't know how many more volumes there are. I mean, it's got lists of her other books. Um, so, and I guess they write a lot on the Tudors and Queens. And I mean, she does. So I don't know. Anyway, so I, I picked that up. So I, I'm, I'll I'm i be reading this for, you know, I read about, I, I literally, guys, I probably read 10 books at, at a time. As long as they're not all similar. Like, I wouldn't want to read this and... I don't know. I don't, I don't like to read too many similar ones. Although now see, I want to get back into this. Um, but if I tried to read a medieval, a medieval uh, mystery or something, two different ones. Yeah. I don't like to do that, but I can read this, 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 and you know, this, you know, I could read those kind of things all at, at once, but not, not too much fiction in the same, in the same vein. So they were sad. Oh, honey, he brought me cookie, a cookie and a and a cup of coffee. Thank you. Can you can hear my stomach growl all the way down. Yeah, I need to go and eat. It, we've been here almost four hours, so I should go. But I wanted to share some. Let me see if there's anything else that I want to, as far as creativity. Well, as far as creativity, this this one right here, though, guys. Oh my gosh. This is eye candy and writing 
technique and information to the max right here. Uh, I'm just looking at my shelves while I'm eating my cookie. Hang on a minute. Um, um, <coughs> of course, if you, you know, for artists, Steal like an artist, and he's not meaning like literally steal. You'd have to you have to read it, but it's kind of like a little journal type a prompt kind of thing. You're welcome, Debbie. Um, and of course, I have things on every topic. You know, art journaling, collage, mixed media, drawing, painting. Mm, okay, here's one. Here's another one. Hang on. Um, well, actually, a couple. I'll show you these three, and then we'll go. I won't show them in very uh, much depth, but thinking visually, and I think this was a textbook. I mean, I didn't buy use it as a textbook, but it kind of reminds me of kind of reminds me of the wonder of the wonder book. This one does. It was kind of the same vein, but it's about, you know, my, you know, creativity, thinking, writing, visual. It's very eye candy, right? But it's informative, too. Now, this one, because it was a textbook, I think it was pretty expensive. Yeah, this was $25 back when. When did this one come out? Um, 2006. And this one's not published by, ha this is an academia, Ava Academia. So it's that's why they're more expensive when they're textbooks. But um, anything published by How? Okay, bye, Jackie. Bye, Jackie. And these two are kind of old, too. And like I said, Cameron's got one of my better ones. The better, um, it's, it's more like this one, but smaller. It's a book like this with the right brain exercises and writing things in um, visual, you know, and you can you can draw then and write. Uh, and it's about this size. I'm going to have to pick that book up again because I really liked it, but he liked it more. Um, it's still like an artist. It's okay. I like, um, well, there's a lot of them. Let's see. There's, there's quite a few similar to this. There's quite a few similar. It's a lot of, you know, prompting type of things. It's, you know, and I have, I don't know how many of these kind of things. Of course, all the Carrie Smith type books, um, which Cam has all of those of mine too. He loves Carrie Smith. He has all my Carrie. I gave him all my Carrie. I never, I never loan him my books. I give them to him. Uh, and I always just tell him if you just, you know, don't want any more, but she loves books, so he's not going to give them back. But anyway, <laughs> um, the Almanac, A Daily Dose of Wonder, Jill Badosky. And this one's kind of, these two are kind of old. This one's 2008. And it's a daily prompt thing, literally every day. Look, May 28th, May 29th. And every day you have like little prompts, quotes. Um, you know, it's inspiration stuff. It's inspirational type, you know, it's all broke down by awe, A-W-E, awe. So like, and every day we'll have a daily soul vitamin, a toast of the day, awe services, servances, awe, Afro, like aphrodisiacs, but aphrodisiacs, dose of mirth, journal juju, awe, awakened, inner message, public service announcement. And every day has some kind of, you know, little thing like that. And little prompts. And so this one's kind of, you know, I never did it, but you don't have to, you don't have to write everything out and do the prompts to read it and get inspiration. But the thing is, is whenever you're reading anything, I like to annotate books. Uh, I don't annotate every book. But uh, or po or post it note it like uh, the one I'm reading here or just I read I finished reading this one. So I posted. I mean, I tabbed 
with the little sticky tabs, every page that has something on it, I wanted to remember. Then what I'll do is I'll go back if I don't annotate the book itself. And even if I do annotate the book itself, I'll go back with either post-it notes and take notes or a traveler's notebook, a composition book, a three ring binder, whatever you want to write and write out your, um, the best stuff, right? By, by Stephanie. And the last one is called Life is a Verb, Patty Dij. 37 days to wake up, be mindful, and live intentionally. And this one, again, is kind of older. Uh, this one is 2008. And again, I'll just kind of flip through. It's all kinds of prompts, um, things to do. It's just actions. Just tons of different, it's eye candy prompts and uh, inspiration, creativity. You know, I don't really remember what's in this one because it's, it's been a while since I looked at this one. But I'll tell you the, I'll tell you the uh, table of contents. Then we'll go. So I hope you all enjoyed it. I mean, we, you know, I think a lot, we lost a lot of people after we put down the colors. <laughs> we put down the color crayons and we lost a lot of people, but. <laughs> Oh, you're still here. Thanks, Stephanie. So, but I appreciate you guys, especially the mods. Thank you, Pacola. Like, subscribe, and ring my bell. Thank you. All right, so real quick, part one, inhabit your story. Chapter two, write to remember. Oh, my gosh, I can't stress that enough. Chapter, uh, and it starts with I, part two, the six practices for intentional living, intensity, inclusion, integrity, and then there's some categories for each intimacy intuition intention life is the verb become you epilogue you know and then it goes on but anyway those are just the main chapter uh headings so anyway if you like to write if you like creativity if you like to think <laughs> if you like to wonder and if you like to have mystery <laughs> i gave you a little bit of everything including color so, uh, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed the show. I hope y'all um, have a great weekend. I appreciate y'all being here. And again, thank you guys for the super chat money and buying us uh, a new blue uh, mic here. And I hope it's improved, even though I think it could be partially my camera that gives us the uh, occasional pixelation. So on Monday, I'm going to go back, even though, see, there's, this the thing about this camera is light lock. The light doesn't change. You see, it stays the same. And that's what I love about the 920. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. It's been fun. Oh, good. I love books, too. Thank you, Louise. And hi, by the way. And if I've missed saying hi to you, I'm sorry. Hey, Ian. See, like Ian. I just saw Ian. Uh, you wish people would think sometimes, yeah, we wish everybody would think, and I, and I can include myself. We can all include ourselves when we sometimes don't think, right? <laughs> all right. Y'all have a great weekend. You're welcome. Bye, guys. <laughs>